come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> Hi there. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hey. Hey, thanks for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast. We're all saying hi because we don't know if you can hear us right yeah. now. Yep. <laughs> this is season three, episode one. See, and we season okay, three. No. We're 100 episodes in Volume every season? three, episodes. episode one. It's our 301st that episode. That's, that's, so it's two years per no, season? Is that what you're sad. getting at? 100 episodes per season. Okay. Okay. It's, so yeah, It's like 52. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you for like listening. Six. Even though we're a little bit confused. I'm sure you're keeping track of this. Because you're mm-hmm. listening to the most awesome radio show in the history of radio that's on a podcast. <laughs> you have to be to survive. 300 episodes. Yeah. The most amazing podcast recorded in a basement. Or maybe this is yes. your first <laughs> night. And uh, then we want to welcome you aboard the Saturday Night Freak Show train, mm-hmm. where the internet radio superstars are going to talk to you about movies. Who are they? Sean. Holly. Michaela. And I'm Colin. And tonight, we watched a movie that was chosen, Round Robin, by... Michaela. Michaela, what did we watch tonight for the 301st episode? We watched 1989's Intruder. Intruder. Also known as... Oh. Uh, it was the night crew? going to be known as the night crew night originally. Crew. Yeah, and they said that's not a good enough slasher name. So that's why not. Well, that's a bad. Yeah, no, that's not a bad fine. name. The wrong night with that crew. Title? Yeah, I think I prefer the night crew. I like the yeah. night crew better. Yeah, technically it, it there, encompasses the entire movie more the int- than yeah. Technically, there isn't an intruder. I, well, yeah, I was like intruder doesn't you know there is yeah. but there isn't you yeah. know right. I'm like well, the night crew is better. The night crew, you're like yeah, fucking supermarket. Yeah, the intruder doesn't give me that. Yeah, I like them. Yeah, build up the supermarket part of the horror yeah. of this movie and I'm all for I'll, it. I'll even take like stock boys like something. <laughs> I, I was stock, gonna say, stock people. Stock because people. It also, I'm it sorry. The movie yeah. and the characters in it. That's I was true. Say, I was say. <laughs> That's very true. Reach for the serial killer pun and just do the night stalker but like stalker. Oh! Night stalker. I, Done. I like Hot that. Over. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> Let's go home. That's it. Yeah. Uh, Cheers to everybody. Good brilliant. Night. <laughs> yeah. Brilliant. Congratulations. Congratulations. Someone hire me to. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Copyright 2018 Saturday the Night Freak Stalker. Show from the Night Stalker. Yeah. There it is. Um, so, this movie comes to us, you said, from the year 1989. Mm-hmm. And it was uh, directed by Scott Spiegel. Who the hell is Scott Spiegel? He's BFFs with Sam Raimi and Bruce Campbell. They all went to the same high school. I think we figured that out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why did we figure that out? Because. Two Raimi's and a Campbell are in this movie. In the Two Raimi's and a Campbell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I had never even heard of this movie. Never heard never of Never heard movie. of it. That's can we can we just talk about that for a second? Yeah. That no one at this bar had seen or heard of this movie. Never. Yeah. No. That rarely no. happens. Yeah. In saying I've never heard of it. And especially with that pedigree, too. Yeah. Right. Now, maybe I had. Because for some reason I looked up one of the kills in this movie. Mm-hmm. The where where whatever it is where they're the, the meat slicer the thing. meat slicer I guess is what you call it or well it's, it's like a bone it's saw the bandsaw yeah, at this point yeah, yeah. because I've seen that the head getting sawed through that before and I, it, this was not long ago that I looked this up so mm-hmm. I don't know what led me to that but mm-hmm. I got there other than that never heard of this movie yeah yeah, yeah. I mean it's it's just weird right yeah. with all those people yeah. so it's uh the version that we watched is a remastered version that was put out by Full Moon well thank mm-hmm. God. So this was, I don't recall this being a full moon movie. This is an Empire Pictures movie or whatever. I think this so. I know Synapse put movie, out a Blu-ray. Full moon movie. So I wonder if it's an acquisition, because yeah. I don't remember seeing uh, Charles Band's name in the opening no, credits. No, no not no. at all. Okay. Um, because Scott Spiegel, man, this dude's got some legit... Like credits to him. I mean, he wrote Evil Dead Two. Yeah, and the was rookie. he the sole writer on uh, Evil Dead Two? Yes. Really? Yeah. Okay, I thought it was a- like the rookie, like the Clint Eastwood, Charlie Sheen movie. Mm-hmm. Not the movie I was thinking. Not about. rookie no. of the year. No, no, no. not that uh, movie. Isn't there a rook- the rookie with the uh, 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 with the uh, 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 Dennis Quaid? Yeah, Dennis Quaid. That's yeah, Quaid. yeah. Oh, that's yeah. A different. That's a that's, that's a what I was thinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A, that's what I was thinking vintage. too. Right. I'm like, he wrote that. Yeah. Movie? Wow. I was like, that's that's a big step in the other direction. Right. Yeah. He's jumping all over the place. <laughs> and uh, he directed Hostel Part Three. Right. The really bad directed true. DVD one. I never watched Did you see that it? one. Uh, well, here's the thing about Hostel Three. So when it came out. <laughs> Uh, I was in college for design and we like did a project and we used the stock image and that like same time Hostel 3 came out and I noticed a stock image we used in that project was on the DVD cover. Oh, and wow. I was like, 
Oh, wow. that oh. means it's terrible. So right. I never watched it. Exactly. <laughs> they they let the fair. interns do yeah. it or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, that's which, fair. I mean, you could, they're still doing but that. But did you see I, it? There was an Hostel 3? No, Wait, I did not. So no one has seen it. No, 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 no. I watched Hostel 1 and 2, and then after that, I was just like, I don't think I've even seen 2. Two's decent. Is it two's decent? Yeah, yeah it's yeah. not. Bad. It might be there's better some, than the first one, but yeah, yeah. there's some uh, and there's some imagery in that. It's just gonna make you go, Ooh. yeah, yeah. And Tarant- Especially men all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> Tarantino credits uh, Spiegel with starting his career because he introduced him to Lawrence Bender, who helped him get funding for right. Reservoir Dogs. So. Right, Lawrence Bender right. was oh, wow. a big influence yeah. on uh, Tarantino. Yep. And Lawrence Bender is a producer. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's a co-story on Intruder. Yep. Yeah, mm-hmm. and he's in the film. And a producer, yep. and he's in it. <laughs> yep. Yeah, because yep. yeah, you mentioned him, like, because uh, I saw the Well, other usually, I remember him with the long 90s right, hair. Right, he does, yeah. yeah. And but he this showed is... up in this, I'm like, that guy looks fucking familiar, and I was about to start looking him up, and they're like, is that Lawrence Bender? I'm like, fuck yeah, it is. Because mm-hmm. I yeah. forget Lawrence Bender. Mm-hmm. So this movie comes to us from the tail end of the 1980s, so the slasher mm-hmm. movie boom is, like, long over and done. Yeah, well, I mean, long Long over and done. I guess this originally was a short that Scott Spiegel did where um, the killer was much more like of a Michael Myers type because he was obviously, like everyone else in the world, really inspired by Halloween. Sure. Yeah. Like, the short was are. much more Michael Myers, and then obviously they took it in a more 80s direction in this movie. But um, he also <laughs> actually worked like, at a grocery store. <laughs> That's a great so. direction to go. It's like, we're going to take this in a more 80s yeah, direction. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like what you're saying. <laughs> Well, it's just, it's weird because, uh, you know, I mean, when you think of like uh, a scary, isolated location where you can get a bunch of people together and a killer will stalk them. It's all about the location, Colin. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's location, mm-hmm. location, yeah. location. It they sure weren't is. lying when they came up with but that. But what, I mean, you think of, where do you go first? You go to the woods. The woods are creepy. They're Freudian, <laughs> right? Is it, right? You're right. You go to the mines of uh, Valentine's. Yeah. Stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, even the creepy. hospital or the mental it's hospital, you know, those are uh, creepy. Yeah. Um, I definitely got a feeling that someone who created this movie has worked in a grocery store. Yes. Scott Spiegel yes. worked in a grocery store. There it store is. Yeah. 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 You can you, only you come can up get with this that, shit yeah. if you've worked in a grocery store. Uh-huh. And watching this, I was triggered. All of us. Yeah. Yeah. I, was, yeah. I felt things watching this movie because there's certain things about this movie that's just like, that's so true. Yeah. yeah. So true. Especially yeah. when the bread man showed up. Yeah. So early in the morning. This is the goofiest thing in the world. I mean, it's like I worked in a movie theater. Where's the movie theater set slasher movie? Uh, Colin. I'm all for the grocery store. (laughs) Was it (laughs) Scream 3 in a movie set, right? It was a movie set, yeah. yeah. Well, there was, I saw, there was like one of those found footage uh, ghost movies. It was set in a movie theater where it was the same thing. You're like, Somebody here had access to like an old Hollywood, you know, old timey theater. Yeah. And that was like, we're going to make a movie here. And yeah. I get the feeling that that's maybe what happened. Maybe they had access to this or. Yeah. I, I this guess was, so. uh, This was a actually like a closed a grocery store that had closed that they rented out the space. And then a company that like kind of takes like returned and damaged goods from grocery stores, let them use all the stuff to stock the shelves. Nice. Fantastic. Uh, that's that's right. why the cereal boxes were dented to fucking hell. At yeah. Every yeah. <laughs> anybody who's ever worked in a grocery store, especially after closing, has thought like we could shoot a, a horror movie. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've had that thought. I worked in a mall for six years and I worked overnights a lot. And uh, mm-hmm. there was always a customer that came and pulled on the door oh, two hours after oh, close. Yeah, oh, and yeah. I guess they're closed. Yeah. So it works all of those moments oh, into yeah. this. Because clearly, as you I said, felt things. the yeah. filmmaker has worked in a gr- grocery yes. store. Oh, you could tell. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's just a weird place to set a horror. I'm sorry. No, the it's the a, grocery it's store. Great set- no, it's horror, great because the public is insane. That's why I, like, I was true. kind of. Like, not to jump into the ending, but I was kind of hoping the killer would have been a customer because that would have been the most realistic part of the movie. It would have made m- yeah, a lot, a lot of more sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because you like when you work with the public. Why does your sale not go till Sunday? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, I don't yeah. know about you guys, but I had people threaten to kill me when I worked retail. Like, yeah. I had people threaten to kill me all the time working yeah. retail. Like, it's oh, so yeah. that's why I was like, this is where it should go. And when it didn't, I was a little disappointed. <laughs> sure. Well, this is kind of actually, they set it up so it could go that way. At the right. very beginning of the film, we meet a little old. <laughs> the old man. <laughs> little old codger. I yeah. was really hoping it would be him. Yeah. It would have been great if it was. Mm-hmm. Because 
everyone comes in contact with that customer. Yeah, yes. yeah. That He's customer, just, it's well, universal he gets, across the board. He gets slighted in the way that customers do, I suppose. Yes. But, you know, it's like uh, the, at least the, the way two they cashiers they are having a con- personal conversation. He's like, what? What, am I interrupting something? Yes, here? always and, happens. Yeah, <laughs> always. Because you're always in the middle of a conversation talking to your coworker about something when you both get called to the register. Mm-hmm. And then you continue that conversation as you go up there. And then you're talking between each other, and the customer's like, all right, I guess I'm just inconveniencing you in this conversation. Please check me out. Me <laughs> always happens uh-huh. everywhere you work. Yeah, because you're not supposed to do that. You're not no, supposed you're to not do supposed that. The customer is always all right. do. goes first. Uh, <laughs> but there is no way. There, there's no way that sweet curmudgeon little man <laughs> would. He would. I mean, he. I could, don't know. When his no, bag no, broke, could, I thought that sent him over no, the edge. No, no, no. He could barely carry his groceries, let alone stab a man. Like it would not or have put happened. Him a band song. Yeah, yeah, no, it would not have happened. It's cute, but it would not have happened. Yeah. But then he had well, that like was... comment. He was like yelling at those two dudes uh, or the right. the two people on the way out. He was like, why don't you hold hands? And I was like, oh, oh yeah. he's mad. So No, he was, he was grumps. He but had he, the little fury. He, yeah. he was grumps, but he's no, weak. That old guy is only the killer in a short film where there are two people die. Yeah, yeah <laughs> that's true. I feel like, because he can and only get through that before he's going to go take a nap. Mm-hmm. Like that's Maybe his hidden, yeah, but when he has the rage, he's got the hidden, <laughs> hidden I, c- yeah. I could sure. see. Strength. I could see maybe like, at the end, the killer's revealed, and then they're like in the parking lot having a chase, and then the old man like hits him with his car. I can see that. Yeah, right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Well, this uh, the movie takes place at what? The Walnut Creek grocery store or something like that? Does it? Or does yeah. it take place in the other one that's labeled well, on the store? Did you notice that the yeah. other one it like was, was up there? It was like Ranch, ranch Market. Ranch Market. Ranch market. Yeah. And, and it's a gone. scene later, it was painted it was over. Yeah. Right. Like, that's uh, because the, cr- the whoever was taking down the store... Came through halfway through shooting and took down yeah. that sign. <laughs> it was supposed to be set in Walnut Lake, Michigan, so which is where where that's where they all grew up or something. I think it's a, like a fictionalized version of where oh, they grew okay. up, but yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't it's know. Actually, Walnut whatever Lake is the hell place. the name of the place is in mm. the Ash vs. Evil Dead TV show, I think mm-hmm. they go back there. Um, so it if takes is, place in a grocery store. Is there an episode that takes place? Is there an episode that takes place? Because there's money. It like yeah, because well, he in works in a grocery two. store, right? That's smart. Yeah, smart. Yeah, shop smart. Shop right, right, right. okay, right, right. Uh, but they do go back, like for the second yeah. and third season, to his hometown. Um, so it's set in a grocery store. It takes place on the evening. Like, I mean, basically, they are seeing the last customer out because you know they don't want to pay for extras. That would be shoppers in their movie. That's the longest yeah. part of any shift, man. The, like last ten minutes before closing. Customer. Oh yeah, there should, yeah. There should be a horror movie called just called The Last Customer. Yeah. Oh because god. You get so many people who would relate to that. <laughs> we could write it. Like, Here we go. Oh, we're doing we right now. I'm Copyright telling. 2018. Yeah. Where would you set it though? Like a Panera Bread. At literally any retail location. <laughs> any, it could be any retail. Any, any, any. retail, any restaurant. Yeah. It's all the it same. happens everywhere. That's Restaurants why it's so probably problem. worse the because they it take is. up so much more time. Yeah. Restaurants yeah. is great well, because they, you, if they you're looking for an in, audience. They do that in waiting. Yeah, yeah. The last yes. customer. Yes, yeah. yes, they do. Because yeah. if you're looking for an audience to relate to what's going on on screen, that's the audience. The yeah. retail audience is just like the last customer to come in. Mm. You have two minutes to closing and they're like, I just need to grab one thing. And then you're there for 20 more minutes. Yep. Uh-huh. That's then it. they start killing the staff. Oh, it was, yeah. it was always bad at the movie theater because you would always be like, okay, if I don't sell any tickets to this show, I can get out right, super early. Down, yeah. And then like one person would come in, but they would come in like 10 minutes into the movie started and then be uh, like, I need to see this movie that will keep you at uh, work an extra three hours. You know, uh, that was you're there awful. to serve. I know this is like this movie. I'm surprised it's like stirring up all these past. Uh, yeah, it is. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Basically, <laughs> everyone at the free show has worked some <laughs> shitty jobs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, so I mean, the inside. It's a slasher film, right? So, mm-hmm. I mean, does it follow the structures of the slasher we get a POV. Uh, movie? We get a lot of POV in this. Well, movie. I mean, in story structure, usually there's if there has to be an inciting incident yep. or something that took place in the past that uh, I'm saying traditionally, traditionally that yes. this is where your killer comes from. I think we we. We know what the inciting incident is. We just don't see it. Like the inciting incident would be. Well, is it's there, but the okay, but if to not at yeah. the at the the beginning of the movie though, it's trying to misdirect you. It yes. like knows yeah. that you've Indeed. seen all these slasher movies with the you know twenty years ago this happened or whatever. Right. So it gives you, uh, what's his name, Craig? Craig. Craig, Craig yeah. Peterson. 
Craig Peterson. Craig Peterson. Okay, so Craig Peterson is this like uh, leather jacket wearing uh, David mulleted. David Duchovny mulleted. He uh, looks just like David Duchovny. He, he, he kind of, that's the first thing I thought. Yeah, so he's like just untrustworthy by looking at him. Yeah. Yeah. And he comes in and he has a history with our lead checkout girl. Of course. They had a relationship a year ago. So this is kind of setting up For the slasher months. movie. Kind of. <laughs> kind of. Like, this <laughs> is what? like this guy and her are. It's it's <laughs> it's the problem women have with men writ large that yeah. would go yeah. on for <laughs> decades later, which is surprising. But yeah, it's problematic to say the least. Yeah. Especially when he gets all up in her face at he her does, checkout he, like, counter. He grabs her face and he's like, the, no. What, ooh. The way he reached for her in that yeah. scene made me think it was impro- improvised. Yeah, because the way she, they, she jumped yeah. back. Yeah. Like, yeah. the way she jumped, she looked it's legitimately like, whoa, startled. that finger is yeah. in my, almost yeah. up my right. nose. Yeah. It's bad. Yeah. Mm. It made me feel uncomfortable. I uh-huh. was glad that, like, not to jump ahead to the end, but I was glad that they did not. We were we were all talking out loud. We were worried that it was going to be like he was going to come save the day, and then yeah. like she would be okay with him because he no. saved her. Glad they didn't do that, yeah. right? Because I don't I don't want this guy to save the day. No, he's he's a stalker and abusive and mm. scary. Right, that guy should not be <laughs> yeah. celebrated as the hero who saves the day. Let's not make Craig the hero, please. <laughs> he did save the day, like kill him off at the end because he doesn't deserve Mm-mm. anything. Well, at you that could. Point. Ri- I think you could write it in a way where you could pull it off, but this movie uh, was it was too not, far not, off. I'm going to say not today. In the 80s, yeah. I not can see it in happening. The 80s, sure, but not today. Yeah. No. Not today. That guy dies. No. I thought it was interesting that, that she said they dated for two months, then he went to prison for a year or whatever. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, she didn't say she was like writing him in prison and stuff. So this guy's still just like hung up on her, even though he hasn't yeah. heard from her in a year. Yeah. Like, for all we She's know. She's what got him through. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Yeah. I guess. Wow. Like, when I get out of here, I'm going to fix things with Jennifer. I'm going to do it. I know where she was. Jennifer, yeah. Was Jennifer? I yeah. have yeah. no idea. Yeah, it was. <laughs> well, name tags would have helped a whole lot. It in this really would have. Why yeah. would not With the plaid tags. boys, it would have. The plaid boys. Because right. everybody <laughs> looks the same, is what yeah. you're saying. Well, I mean, there's like two guys that look identical and wear the same shirt. That's why you got to find the rain. And identify I everybody else. Say, Ted Raimi is the only one. The, the like, Raimi's look is. the same. Yeah. Um, well, uh, uh, I know who Ted Raimi is in this movie because he's got his headphones on for most of the time. There's a norm- there's Sam Raimi's the butcher. There's a normal Raimi and an obnoxiously geeky. Yeah. Raimi. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which brings one of the funniest jokes of the movie. That was the funniest the joke of the movie. <laughs> is the movie a comedy? It's got comedic it's, moments. It, yeah. it, I, there's a lot more comedy in this movie than I think most of movies like this. It's like uh, puns and stuff. I laughed like visual a lot. Puns. I laughed a lot, too. Yeah. Yeah. A yeah. lot. I enjoyed. Mm-hmm. So it's all intentional. I think so. Yeah. yeah. The, the half off. Oh, yeah. I'm like, so glad uh, they, they made that joke. Wait, right, the, the listeners in. don't know what you're talking about. Like, I don't know. Towards the end of this movie, I was... Uh, I think Sean said something about um, body it, oh body parts if they right, cut off the body parts and then open the store the next day to sell the body parts and I say well, and everything have, was half everything off. would have to be half off right and like ten minutes later we get the half off joke there is a half a body right. in a, a bin a half a body and there's a sign that says half off yeah uh-huh. they're they're going for the jokes it's like well they have to do this and they do it it was yeah. amazing which is great because <laughs> you're just like if you're gonna make this type of movie you got to lean into those yeah. jokes uh-huh. and they totally do they're just mm-hmm. like we know what you're, what we're doing yeah like this is the movie we're making well it also borrow i mean you can tell that uh there's a raimi influence on it because it borrows a lot of um these i'm i'm trying to like you know for for those of you who haven't seen it it looks really cheap like it's yeah. on the budget level of like uh uh silent night deadly night yeah right yeah, kind of, yeah, yeah. It's, it's like same, yeah yeah same level except that spiegel is you employing these like um I don't want to say they're artistic uh, camera choices. <laughs> they're, Student film camera choices. Yeah, they're very like the mirror shots. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's a whole like conversation. he's putting like there's a shot that takes place from inside a rotary phone. I kind of liked that one actually. Well, I, I liked like, it, I liked but it, it went on for like 15 minutes. It was like the whole scene was done yeah. from the inside yeah. of the yeah. phone. Yeah. A rotary phone inside of a doorknob. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it happens mm-hmm. as well, which like I get. Like a lot of bottle, a like, lot through of bottle, a bottle, work, yeah. Bottle, so, like, he's, yeah. yeah, he's hanging these objects and he's shooting through them, which I'm like, cool, I like it. Oh, because God. Some of them go on too long. And some yes. of them just misfire. Like, sure. he said he was in prison and, like, the camera, <laughs> the camera oh, pans the over. Shot. How can we describe this? Where there's two people having a conversation at the checkout Where line. Where was he all this time? Yeah. And over to what looked like prison. Well, bars. so you're shooting through like a grocery yeah. cart right. or something. Yeah, like prison cart, bars. Yeah. And, you're prison. Sh- and you see the person behind it and they're framed in the. Yeah. 
It's like, but like wow. the timing is like the camera's moving while she says in, and when she says prison, it stops right. just so yeah. that it, the bars are over her so face. So much so that it took me a second to realize that this is what they were doing. I'm just like, they. No. Uh, no, yeah. no. I think we all are. They do, no. Everyone else realizes before me. It's like because when stuff like that becomes so obvious, it doesn't mm. register to me. I'm just like, are they doing this? Yeah. Everyone and else is like, yeah. We I'm all like, no. Oh. We we all audibly reacted to that yeah. moment. Right. <laughs> Well, there was also the shot of uh, like a guy approaching a door. So we cut from the guy to the doorknob. The doorknob is twisting a little bit. So when the camera, the reverse angle is on him, it's twisting with the doorknob, uh, with the doorknob uh, a little bit. Like and then that. it snaps back into. Yeah, it was like all of this stuff was kind of I mean, I guess this is the thing that, you know, he's doing that. It feels like Sam Raimi did in his Evil Dead movies. So he's yeah. either borrowing and saying, like, here's shots. That, you know, would be like this that I can employ in my film and, uh, you know, kind of distinguish it, I guess, from the rest of the slasher movies of that time. A unique perspective in what we're doing. But was it, uh, I guess that was my, you know, I guess that's what I'm wondering. It's like when when he does it, it didn't to me feel like Sam Raimi. It was like you're trying to do stuff that Sam Raimi does. But here it was kind of like, what the, you know. Do we only accept the Evil Dead 2 stuff because we know it's Sam Raimi? Maybe. I don't know. I like that movie better than the first one, so. We're yeah. also looking back on, our, on the perspective from, like, what years on mm-hmm. that yeah. movie is. So and you recognize this is, like, his style. He doesn't Spider-Man 2 and all that stuff. Right. And you're like, that's Sam Raimi, and that's why I like it. So when you right. see this guy doing it, does it feel like he's ripping him off? <sighs> no, because they are friends. If they were not friends, yeah, he's ripping him off. But because, right. like, they, like... Cle- clearly share like a creative kind of vision. Right. Yeah. It's like it's, it's it's friends sharing ideas and making a movie. Mm-hmm. I feel it doesn't definitely doesn't feel like they're being ripped off. And so, I mean, I guess you could say like, well, he wrote Evil Dead too. Right. Yeah. Know, so exactly. Well, that's very true. Yeah. So there's like there's a common sense of like things that they like that mm-hmm. they like seeing on screen, and so they employ them in the movies that they make. Right. Mm-hmm. I'll say that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, well, there's a lot of these kind of show off shots in the, in the film. Mm-hmm. Um, so the, the two incidents that set this thing up, I guess, like as we're cataloging our, because eventually there is going to be a serial a killer uh, slashing Run. his way Run. through the, uh, the cast in the grocery right. store. Right. Um, so initially we're giving, given Craig Coke. as a potential uh, mm-hmm. suspect. Yeah, absolutely. Because he, in this opening scene that seems to go on forever, he gets loose in the grocery store. Yeah. The store is closed. Yeah. And he is just kind of uh, hiding in the grocery store and everybody has to go search for him. Right. Yep. Which yeah. is yep. just like bizarre and strange. Mm hmm. It is. Yeah, it's weird because, like, I mean, Sean had mentioned that this feels like the movie that's happening at the same time as Cobra. The, the, at least the intro to Cobra when there's Go the, ahead. Yeah. I don't shop here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, but it, like, yeah, why did that guy stay in the store? Did it, Was he that determined to, like, assault that girl? That he was like, I'm going to hide out here until <laughs> I can corner her. Well, we don't even know that he was in the store. It's just their determination that he is hiding somewhere in the store. Right. And so we have to go hunt him down. Yes. So they go looking through all the nooks and crannies of the store trying yeah. to find him. And I guess that's where we I actually meet got all kinda, the I got kind of lost in that whole that whole scene. I was just like, I forgot what they were doing. Yeah. It went on so long. I'm like, what is happening right yeah, now? Yeah, that is the part of the story where you're just like, yeah. Ah, what do we, I was, wait, yeah, I was very lost at that at that point. I think it does resolve itself. Like, we do figure out. Yeah, it they, does. They, they find more direction after like 10 minutes of what they're yeah. trying to do. But have well, you they guys find have, him and they kick him out. I guess, right. right? Have you guys ever had like a customer be there after close and like you don't catch them and so you lock the door and you're like starting to do your closing thing? Yes. That's happened several times. Yeah. To me, so. yeah. wow. Well, and when you work in a big store in a mall, like a big like anchor store in a mall, it's you got to do a lot of looking to make sure you got everybody out of that store. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. and if they're in the fucking bathroom, good luck. Good luck right. finding out yeah, that yeah, they're yeah. in the store. Yeah. You know, yeah. that yeah. always happens. They always get so a fucking So you should be cataloging all this stuff yeah. for the, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> for the eventual <laughs> remake that we're going to do of Intruder. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
So called the Night Crew because we're going mm-hmm. with that title. Why not? No, well, the no, Night Stalker. Night. Oh, yeah, the Night Stalker. Yeah. 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 No, in that in that moment, because I mean, I've worked uh, same as Michaela. I worked yeah. retail in a mall at an anchor store that was like three levels, mm-hmm. and you were all on your radios, like keeping check with each other. Yep. Like he's coming up to your department. You got to watch, and like we're mm-hmm. on it. Mm-hmm. You're right. You're absolutely. I right. used to do those closing announcements, mm-hmm. and yeah. Uh, yeah. I would be like as annoying as I possibly could. Oh, yeah. Just keep <laughs> rambling and hey, rambling. You and then it got to the point where I would play like the Pledge of Allegiance or just like whatever to get people to like out of whatever they're focusing on to pay attention. Like, uh, yeah. Like, hey, fuck off. You need yeah, to leave. Yeah, time. I want to go home. Leave. You don't have to, you don't have there to go should, home, but you, you can't, can't stay, stay here. here. Right. Yeah. There should be any decent person would have a realization. It's like, there are people who work here that don't want you to be here. There, well, yeah. You should leave. Because there, there are people that have... But z- those people don't exist. No, no they no, don't. No. Those people are not the people that go shopping. They have, they have zero... At, no. at 9.59 no. at night. Retail shoppers have zero self-awareness. Zero. We're zero. talking about you, listener. Yeah. 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 If you hear yourself being described here... If you're here, in a store at 9.50 at night... You're the problem. You are a problem. Because there's yeah. this thing called Dear a Dear listener, yeah. you know. get out. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, inter- that's the I, real get out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's legit. And you know, the internet exists. So, you know, go home, use your Prime membership. And oh, order my some God. Shit. Oh, jeez. <laughs> support local businesses. Okay. So, no, no. You know, support local businesses <laughs> during Within the, the hours. hours they're yeah. open. Yeah. That's, it's not that much right. to ask. Within the hours they're open, support your local businesses. That's exactly. Right. Everything yeah. after that. Yeah. Clearly marked yeah. on the door. It's probably good that we all have different jobs now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, my, yeah. my frustration was that, like, I worked in a store that was not essential to life. I didn't work in a grocery store. I worked in yeah. a like, um, like a much more disposable income type store. You yeah. know, so like when people would come in when it was snowing really bad, or mm. like when like or late at night, I'm like, this. you will live till tomorrow if right. you cannot get this we dumb thing you bread, don't need. Milk yeah. or anything else. Yeah, you should yeah. Get yeah. Out That's what was so frustrating home. about yeah. it is it can wait till tomorrow. Yeah. It really yeah. can. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you need that PlayStation game. <laughs> uh, okay, so well, the that other scarf that's six. That's right. Off. Oh, you need, oh, right. Sometimes you just need it. Um. So the other event that happens early on, well, like, do we, we talk about the store situation, like what they told the employees? Well, that's right. Oh, right. That's oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because okay. they do find this interloper, the intruder of the mm-hmm. title, and they kick the shit out of him because they call the managers down. Like There's twice. two guys. There's like Bill and Bob and Dave. Bill and Dave, who own Danny? the store. Danny. I was gonna say Holly makes things up. We just gotta pick up. one, and her. I'll stick with it. <laughs> so we can't trust Holly and names. Danny. Danny and Bill. Okay. And they beat this guy up and kick him out. And then they're like, oh, we're really proud of the way that you handled that. Yeah. By the way, <laughs> you're all getting fired. By the way, you guys are great. <laughs> on the first, you're done. Yeah. So what's the uh, what's going on here? Oh, the store's closing because the city offered to buy the, the property. Is that what they said? I get, yeah. well, they, they, they decided to sell to the city. Yeah. They said they've been losing money for like two years. Yeah. Which has a now, grocery store losing money. I, I That's in a bad location. I mean, yeah. People yeah, have gone well, to the I mean, superstore, the Walmart. Where grocery stores are closing. Like, yeah, that's right. true. So uh, I believe Garen, they will lose money. It was money. probably like a Walmart opened up down the street. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right, yeah. yeah. And they're just like, eh, we can't do this for these locations. Mm-hmm. Go on. And they have to mark everything half off, which when I heard that, I was very triggered because I have worked overnights where you had to mark everything yep. down. Oh, yeah, with the little prank gun. Same. Oh. Right. Well, yeah. it, even in our time now, it's easier because you put up a sign every six feet that says 50% yep. off and you're fine. Mm-hmm. Back in the day, you had to mark every single item. Mm. And if you didn't the get the rhythm right with the gun, it didn't yeah. work. You had it to was, get that rhythm like perfect. Because yeah, yeah. one of the actors here doesn't get it and like double tags a couple yeah. of things. Like, yep. Yeah. Um, so that's what they're going to be doing for the duration of the movie right, for the is overnight like shift. setting the store up yeah. for the, the sale, shift, if you will. Which uh, le- which led to what Sean said earlier was the best joke of this movie. Oh yeah, <laughs> what was that? Ted Raimi. When the, oh, Ted Raimi, when yeah, got fired. produce Joe. Yeah, yeah, he's he's back there with his headphones on, doing shit with watermelons. <laughs> you lost your job, Joe. Yeah, he just <laughs> guy just peeks his head back. You lost your job, Joe, and that was it. Yeah, that's that a was, great joke. And <laughs> that was off funny perfect. as hell, man. That was the best joke oh, in this movie. I related so to, to to produce <laughs> Joe though because when I work, I put headphones on and I'm like, yeah, leave me oh, alone yeah. and let me do my job. Yeah, you like, know, if you just leave me alone and I can finish off what I'm supposed to do and not have to deal with everybody else's bullshit. Yep, everything yeah, will be this, fine. Yeah. But Produce Joe is off like carving up watermelons in the most like Weirdly. obscene Weirdly. way possible yeah. and yeah. like eating it and spitting the fucking seeds out. Mm-hmm. And yep. 
He it's cannot be where, <laughs> Colin, that's what they did. <laughs> he cannot be where customers will see him because they will not come back to the store. Right. Yeah. Right. It's, he it's has a great to be thing in about the back. having a job where customers don't see you. You can do whatever the fuck you want as long as the end product is exactly. what it's supposed to be. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, not too long after this announcement is made, we should also establish that it's important that you realize that Bill and Danny it's are right. not equal partners. This, in this. feels wrong. I don't know. <laughs> uh, that's right. Danny is uh, like a 51%. It's Bob, right? It's Isn't Bill. It Bob? Bill's the other one. Isn't, isn't one of them Bob? I don't know. Let's just. No, I think it. Colin made that up. Yeah, I made is that up. Bob? It's actually Bill. Is it? Yep. Uh, so anyway. How do you know if you made up one of them? It was in the. the Credit. Okay. There was a Bob, but he was one of the like okay. employees. One of the checkered shirt. Okay. Possibly. There was too many plaid shirts in this movie. Too many plaid shirts. No one was wearing uniforms or aprons, as you pointed out, Sean. No name right. tags. It was we really hard tags. to keep track of people. I wasn't even store. sure that there was a Jennifer until you guys said it tonight. And yeah, she's no. like the main girl in the movie. Oh, is she Jennifer? Oh, it is. <laughs> it is Bill, Bill and Danny. It is, is she, Bill and Danny. It is Bill it and is. Danny. Yeah. There is she go. Jennifer? Yeah. yeah. Oh, because we... <laughs> I told you. I know. I know what I'm talking about. We're talking about the other friend, the Estevez, the in, Estevez this in this movie. The Estevez in this movie. Do we say that, though? There, yeah, there's an Estevez in this yeah. movie. Yeah, Linda. No. Is it Linda? Linda. We, yeah. But we talk Bitches, about being, it's Linda. Being the bottom, the bargain basement Jennifer Aniston, because that's what she looks like in this movie. Yeah. yeah. So when you call her Jennifer and the other one's Jennifer, yeah. Yeah. Confused. Yeah. <laughs> it's so Renee Estevez, well, right? Renee Estevez. Renee Estevez. Yeah. So apparently the Estevezes are like the Arquettes and the and the Wahlbergs where we, there's, we, and the Baldwins where there's, there's a, a ton of them. How so yeah. many Estevezes are right. there? I, I mean, we know of three. That's we, a lot. We three generations. We She's the lesser Estevez at this yeah. point. We get Estevezes. We get, uh, what was the only one? Baldwins. Said? Baldwins. Wahlbergs. No, Wahlbergs. Now we're on to, uh, what, what's the new, the... Sars guards and the scars guards. Oh, like, yeah. Like, that's the Hems- new one. Hemsworths, too. Oh, yeah. the Hemsworths. Yeah. yeah. We get families coming into uh-huh. the shit. Uh-huh. So, mm-hmm. there it is. But, uh, guys, this puts someone on the wall of fame. Okay. Oh, no, no. I think it puts two people. Well, Bruce actually. Campbell. Bruce Campbell, but Elizabeth oh. Cox is going on the wall of fame now, too, because she was in Night of the Creeps and she was in The Wraith. Was she in The Wraith? Yep. <laughs> what? You know the beginning of the wraith when those the that couple is going down the highway and they yeah, have to drive oh, and she's the yeah. blonde girl oh. and like the the firebird or whatever yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and, and then in night of the creeps you know the when they go on I think it's when they're going to the dance and the blonde preppy guy <laughs> answers the door and he's all fucked up and the blonde girl answers the door yeah. she's that blonde girl there's so many qualifiers this is wow. why I think we have to go we have to start <laughs> yeah. quality over quantity this is gonna do like the Kevin the six degrees okay. of Kevin Bacon right kind. we have to start arguing quality to be fair she only has like ten. Ten credits to her name, so like sure. the fact that we picked three of her ten credits, that's on right. us that, more than right. anything. Sure, I guess. <laughs> but she, we may uh, have to be more uh, distinguishing. Yeah. Of was this her stuff. biggest role? <laughs> I think. I think actually, it's, it's Night of the Creeps. Role. Well, this one, yeah, this and Night of the Creeps was actually Night of the yeah, Creeps. Night of the Creeps. Like, she's not like a major. No, but like when anything she is like listed on, that's what they list first, and then because sure. more people yeah, know that. Big, movie. More, yeah, 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 it's the bigger movie. But this was the big role, biggest role for like this is a big role in this movie. Yeah. She's the lead. She's the lead. Yeah. Yeah. She's and the it's, final it's, girl. It's, well, it's big enough to where I was like watching this movie going like, I know her. Like, I've seen her before. <laughs> the Wraith. She and like, Damn, yeah. right. She looks like so, that girl like, who was in the Wraith. Yeah. Right. But it, Briefly. So it's just, right. Yeah. Exactly. She but, looks like the girl, girl who answered the door. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Night of the yeah. Creeps. I know you. And that's, but that's a big thing if you're yeah. watching 80s fucking movies. Yeah. yeah. yeah like, no, I, I know you. Yeah. I didn't I'm make that connection. Sure. No. I was I did. like, no, yeah. I didn't know. I'd, I didn't know. Before. I didn't know I had ever seen her. <laughs> I didn't know. I'd seen her before. Anytime you Google her, the first picture that comes up is that scene from Night of the Creeps. Uh, okay. Like anytime okay. you Google her. Yeah. Because you said she was in it. I'm like, she's the girl in the black and white flashback at the beginning. I'm like, she could have been anybody in there. Yeah. yeah. And it's been a while since we watched that too. But so. yeah. familiarity. Mm-hmm. Earned it. Well, in Intruder, at this uh, point in the film, is I, it at I this point in the movie film? is called Intruder? I know. Intruder. It doesn't fit. No, it I know. Because no, how should, many movies have great. been yeah. called Intruder? I think you said this last week. It uh, feels like a home invasion movie should be. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Not a grocery store. Mm-hmm. There is like a 2015 movie. home invasion movie called Intruder. Pro- oh, yeah, yeah. definitely. I think he's thinking of the one where it's Clive Owen's face on the cover, but he has no face. I think that's Intruders. Intruders. But there's another one that's like a, I think it's like a French extremity movie called Intruder. Intruder. Intruder is very generic. Mm-hmm. It You're going to name a movie. It doesn't fit. That's probably why none of us sitting here have ever heard of this. It's I would gene- guarantee it. It is yes. the most generic uh, yes. yeah. title for a horror Because movie. it says nothing about the movie we actually got tonight. Yeah. About a grocery store. Well, yeah, movie. but they're trying to, I mean, they, I see what they're trying to do. 
there's an intruder in the grocery oh, no, store yeah. and he's killing people. Right. Dun, dun, dun. Is he an intruder though? Because he I think works... Craig's the intruder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Craig's the intruder. Yeah. Craig yeah. is the intruder. Yes. Yeah. And we're spending a lot of the movie going like, "Is it Craig?" Because the movie is telling us it is Craig. Right. Craig and this is... has this obsession with Jennifer, and he has been kicked out of the store, and he has seen like a sl- movie slasher hanging out, you know, in the background of shots mm-hmm. uh, outside in the glass. Uh, at some point, Bill comes uh and finds him trying to sneak in the bathroom window mm. they get into a fight is it and bill it's bill it's, it's bill, bill. It's bill. We have an and bill, bill gets okay. clocked in the head with a, a hammer. hammer and shortly on after screen. that just like <laughs> yeah i appreciate the on screen they don't stuff. cut away from really anything in this no, movie and they i like don't. it don't well, they, they I, do it first what Oh, they, the they, cut, they cut away at first. Yeah, because uh, the Estevez yeah. girl like gets knifed, and we don't actually oh, see. Yeah, it yeah. Well, I think it, that, that it cuts, a mystery. That, because doesn't it cut from like him, you know, like knife blade to the watermelon? To the watermelon. Yeah, because yeah. 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 when they first started doing, I was like, "Oh fuck, they're not going to show shit." Mm-hmm. I was really nervous. You were. That's not true. <laughs> yeah, you, like the the impression you got is like they're not going to show shit. That didn't that end did, up happening. That, yeah, movie. that took a complete turnaround. Yeah. A complete turnaround. No, I mean, I gotta yeah. tell you, that's where I was. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we, none of us had seen this movie before. And after <laughs> yeah. that first kill, I'm like, uh, for oh, they won't show it. Yeah, be yeah because, well, you're sitting there going, like, you know, this movie, like, the people, it's, the actors yeah. are like, Rough, like or, some of them are. Oh, that one guy. That one guy is unwatchable. Oh God, he's bad. Uh, yeah, we don't. We, it's the one guy, and we don't even know who he is. You'll know so when rough. you watch because you'll know. Yeah, you'll know. Yeah, he's you'll so know. rough. That we're one not even guy. Look him up because you'll okay, know. Looking I'm him up. trying to see. Do you guys remember what his name was? No, no. I don't remember what any of the characters' yeah, names were, like, aside from the ones we've established. I don't know. I can't tell from the IMDb. No, but hey, guy. Why don't you go with? I mean, I've given you all the names. I remember. Yeah, what was he? Was he trying to do a thing or like? I don't is that, know. I, I feel don't, like this is the guy. That's just how he is. <laughs> I feel like yeah. That's how oh yeah, 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 yeah. No, because yeah, you no, can't. Him. Like in a movie like this, you can't teach that or tell someone to do that. Like that's some, not a like choice. Just who he is? He's someone's brother, and they had to put that's him in the movie. That's what I'm saying. Like he had right. to have been but like they put a tag him in the along movie because yeah. he is who he is. Yeah. See, if, yeah, no, I feel like he's a tag along. Like they yeah, were like, yeah. oh, oh yeah. fuck, we owe this favor to this dude. Let's just fucking do it. Yeah, you know, like oh damn it, we got to bring Keith. Yeah. Well, Keith is interesting to watch, to say the least. Is it interesting? No, his speech pattern. Is grating. It's but it's, it's better than just uh, watching a dude who's throw away and you don't care about because at least he gives some weirdness to the role that he's in. I suppose we will I would always remember the weird dude it, from right, Intruder. I'll remember this guy rather than just some dude who's just like, oh, mean, he's in there and he dies and he goes away. You mean at least they give you someone that you want to die? Right. Yeah. yeah. Nothing else. Like, yeah. All right. All right. All right yeah, I'll give you die. that. I'll Wait, give you I'll that. Be okay. He's does. the Franklin of Intruder. Yeah. He is the Franklin. <laughs> oh my God. We yes. Can't kill him fast enough. Up. Yeah, <laughs> but when that's Ken, true. But when die, Ken, Franklin die. Copyright two thousand eighteen. How long did it take before the first person actually got killed? It in felt movie? like oh, a that's, while. That's time, what I was. Gonna, that's Colin. what I was going to say. The first part of this movie is it's a long hike to get to it's the actual. It's like eighty seven minutes. This is yeah. a short movie. And a short it still takes movie a while. That's yeah, a long time to get to the first kill. Well, yeah. it felt like once they actually started killing people, it, it was, was like fast. It was rapid yeah, they fire. Were like, I mean, because there's only like how many? There's like eight people total in the store, and. And once they started killing him, it was like, They're here's the scene like where this flies. one gets killed. Here's the scene where this one gets killed. Here's, I mean, like, doop, 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 yeah. doop, yep. right through. Um, so that brings us to uh, KNB effects. Oh, yeah, KNB's yep. all of us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Who are made Bravo up of, of them. Wow. Greg Nicotero. God bless him. He's the N. Howard Burr. He's the K. He's the B. He's the B. I don't know. <laughs> is it Robert, so bad. Robert Kurtzman? Oh, Kurtzman. Kurtzman. Yeah. No, wait, is it that the guy who wrote The Walking Dead? Do I have these no, names that's, wrong? No, that's, that's, Kirk, that's Kirkman. Kirkman is right. Kirkman is that's Kirkman. 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 Okay, yeah. Kurt, yeah. Yeah. okay. Kurtzman's right. Kurtzman Burger or Kurtzman Nicotero and Burger. K and B. Yeah, so this is back in the day oh, of uh, practical makeup effects. God, and ladies wow. and germs. We watch this yeah. on Amazon Prime, and there's there's the remastered version, and there's the, like the original version, and there's a five minute time difference between okay. the two. And in the original one, they cut out almost all those effects. I would they, imagine almost because all of they them. are spectacularly gory. Yeah, they're yeah, they gross. Really are. <laughs> but the, right, but to cut out those effects for this movie is to hobble you hobble the movie it is to hobble it and to just like dismiss it to uh just to nothingness Mm -hmm. just like no yeah this movie out to nothing if yeah no it's again why none of us have heard of this movie probably i imagine Mm -hmm. well okay so you did some research you said the original version Mm -hmm. 
this come out theatrically or is this direct to video? I could not find any evidence that it came out in theaters. There was no box office numbers. There was no like release date, nothing. So right. I don't think so. Okay. I that's, could not. There's not a lot of information about this movie. That's the thing the about internet, these movies. We're bringing them out of obscurity, it feels like, mm-hmm. when we find shit like this. Because, and not to like build up any of our knowledge of these movies, but if you find a movie that the four of us have not like heard of or watched, mm-hmm. We're pulling out of something that has made this movie go into a black hole, and mm. for some reason we haven't watched it. So mm. something had to have happened where we haven't watched this movie. It's it's one thing for us to not have seen like a Kathy's Curse, right? Sure. But it's another for us to not have seen a movie that has Raimi's attached right. yeah. and Raimi's, like Bruce Campbell yeah. and yeah. Scott Spiegel, K and yeah. B's like, doing the us, effects, right. like for all us these to things. Not have yeah. seen this movie, some yeah. shit had and to not have even happened. heard of it. Yeah, right? yeah. that's bizarre. Yeah. <laughs> Again, I saw a kill scene, but that was it. But mm-hmm. yeah. to have it just be like in uh, uh, gone off to oblivion, like something mm-hmm. had to have happened. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, these guys, uh, as far as makeup effects, murders go. I mean, which, I guess, you know, we've talked in episodes where we've done slasher movies before. Yeah. I think that's the bread and butter of your slasher movie. Yes. You yeah. have to the have kills, them. The kills, as we've said. So what do we have? We're cataloging the slaughter. It's so good. Oh, the, the cardboard oh, Baylor so... crushing the head, yeah. which if you've watched uh, The I mean, Office, you know, you know, ba- <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. you know the Baylors are dangerous. God damn yeah. it, Michael. <laughs> I mean, the first one they show is the... Uh, through the eye, the the the, the, yeah, the spike, the, right? Because yeah. everyone who ever existed back in the eighties had the uh, if you were doing paperwork, you yeah. had the spike that you would put your used paperwork on. Why? Why did which anyone ever felt have? Like if somebody's, if gonna, somebody's got to fucking ruin no, their hand you, on that if shit. If you've ever worked at a restaurant, I guarantee that you probably still use this. Oh, for yeah, no, like, they you uh, do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. for the checks. You're yeah, right. Yep. Yeah. Especially it's still like there. Is, when you're getting like food orders, if you, like a soup ticket or something, yep. I guarantee you're still using that spike. And the best Still way there. to use it is to uh, stand up a uh, severed head and reanimate her. Am I right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 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 You're correct, Colin. <laughs> Agreed. Uh, so, yeah, somebody gets uh, their eyeball uh, impaled. I didn't think that one was hideously gory, but it was no. like, Meh, okay, at least that, we're seeing. That was the first moment I was like, oh. We are going to start it's seeing gonna go there. Yeah. yeah. We now are going to start that we've waited 40 minutes right. out of this 80 it, minute movie. Yeah, right. it pretty does much. Take- <laughs> and <laughs> suffering through wow. this terrible acting. Yeah, now exactly. something's happening. Mm-hmm. So uh, I remember, you know, Sam Raimi, who's actually in this movie a lot more than I expected he right. was going to yeah. be, to be honest with you, ends up. Uh, like the, he's good friends with these people. He's like, oh, yeah, I'll fucking be in your movie. This would be fun. He doesn't say a whole lot. No, no, but he and he's always hanging out in the meat locker. He which I feel like he's pivotal during their lunchroom scene because, like, when they all have lunch together, right? Like, he's yeah. telling like the he's the guy who puts the cigarette in his mouth and is going. Yeah, light well, it, he's which, listening to the story about the right, head and the, hand yeah. and the sandwich and the other, yeah. which actually is like straight up from another movie. You guys seen Raising Arizona? Yeah, yeah well, that uh, yeah. like is like word for word from Raising Arizona. Apparently, yeah. Okay, so that brings us to you know, of course, the the Raimis or was it? Uh, it was the Coens and Sam Raimi. Do they share a house? Oh, I've got this. Uh, this I, I cannot believe this. I want to see this movie. Okay. Does this, wait, does so, this go back around to Dark Man? I feel like it does. It might. I, I feel like everyone was sharing a house at this point. Yeah, because yeah, no, that's okay. how Francis Sternhagen. Right, and, yes, exactly. Not Sternhagen, so, Francis McDormand. Francis McDormand. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah so exactly. Scott Spiegel shared a house with Sam Raimi, Joel Cohen, Ethan Cohen, Holly Hunter, Francis McDormand, and Kathy Bates. Yes. Wow. Where's yeah. the movie about everything that happened in that house? <laughs> I want that. Everything came out of that house. Yeah. That's so what I'm saying. There's got to be oh. a biopic about all of them living in that house. There I need to be. see it. That's like, a reality show. At least show a I Netflix watched. miniseries. Yeah. <laughs> and there's nothing else. Ooh, don't say that. Ryan Murphy's going to jump all over uh, it now and make it terrible. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, It'll be that bad. is It'll weird. Be bad. Right, well, I don't know. He does good with like true crime stuff. I don't know. I like the OJ but this, series. But no, but none of them killed anybody. Videos. Yeah, this is they just, just, like, kinda... just like a right. slice of life but kind of thing. Yeah. If nothing else, I love the fact that back in the day, all these creative people that we know of separately, mm-hmm. like all lived together and came from these certain yeah. spaces. And made great and work they, together. Right, and yeah. they, they, they shared these spaces, made this work together, and then have come out and made work separate from that but you know they were all like together at some point mm-hmm. yeah everyone What's we the, know separately was those together could at some talk, point though, man. Damn. yeah well oh, that means yeah. what i mean i guess what that means to me is that you know if they're friends then they're all sitting around you know out back by the pool or around the grill or at the dinner table or breakfast yeah. table or somewhere talking ideas about yeah. some of these movies that yeah 
that you saw later, like, you know, I don't yeah. know what time Who period knows? we're talking yeah. about, but clearly it's like Blood Simple, mm-hmm. Raising Arizona, Evil Dead 2, you know, uh, yeah. Dark Man, you know, all that kind of stuff yeah. is like they're all contributing uh, right, you know, ideas and talking ideas about all this stuff. These movies we were, we've seen it's have like come Kathy from Bates the people. came up with it. Yes, it's exactly. because she used to do that every <laughs> right, morning. Because I put it in it, my right. movie. Yeah. <laughs> so I was having eggs with Kathy Bates one morning. <laughs> right. Because we all live together and mm-hmm. this is how this came about. Right. Right? Like that I, shit's awesome. Yeah. Then, okay, so that. just those people were living together. Can you know how like when it is when you have roommates, like they always have their friends over? Oh, can yeah. you imagine what friends they had coming over that were also hanging out? Like yeah. obviously Bruce Campbell was hanging out there too, right? Sure. You know, oh, like, yeah. yeah. So Which is why he ends up in shit or you know yeah. has ideas for stuff. Mm-hmm. So yeah. like who else like tangentially uh-huh. was also in that? That's why we need this movie. Yeah, you know, we need this movie. <laughs> and it can be Oscar bait, and it can you have twelve fucking yeah. famous but Oscar bait people it's horror, in it. It comes from horror. Yeah. It'll never be Oscar bait because it comes from like a horror people. The Coens might together. elevate it. That's true. Maybe. That's true. Well, they're, I The mean, Oscars love the Coens. They do. They do, do now. Well, they, they did do. even then. I mean, I think, yeah. you know, because I'm trying to think, like, I mean, Raising Arizona has the wacky kind of off-the-wall stuff that I could attribute yeah, to, uh, to Sam Raimi, but right. Blood Simple has a, a more darker, you know, uh, tone to it as a thriller. Uh-huh. That was their first thing, so... Um, there's a head slicing gag in this. Oh, that, well, man. I mean, the the, the uh, what was it? The the, the cardboard crusher. Yeah, is, Baylor. Right? Yeah. The Baylor, Baylor is Baylor. pretty graphic because his yeah. whole head doesn't go it's in. It's only like up to his like nose is <laughs> in is the. Great. And the guy oh, screaming man. as it oh. comes down and. Everyone else should go for the neck. This goes right for the yeah. middle of the head. Middle of the yeah. head. <laughs> That's what I liked about the head cutting because I thought it was going to be at the neck, and it. What made me really uncomfortable was how it cut like. Right between, right below yeah. your nose, but above your lip. Yeah, yeah. And like when it went into the gums, Ugh. that's when I was like, yeah. "Oh god, Ew. oh man." Yeah, that's the thing. And you that's see gross. it in graphic you detail. Do. It's, it's a good model. You know what? And that's that's the rubber, what get, whatever. <laughs> that's what you're gonna get from these movies, and also from podcasts that will bring you this shit because we know the difference between somebody's going for the neck yeah. and someone who's just going for like this, who's going to yeah. split the skull at the nose and lip. Oh, God, yeah. it's so gross. That's oh. it, because it's more horrifying if it's right here yeah. than anywhere else. That's just like, Ugh. I mean... I react. I don't know if you guys are bothered by it, but like the scissors going between the webs of your fingers. Uh, yeah. That, yeah. Ugh, but that was, God, uh, they d- had done that, and uh, Tom Savini did that in Friday the 13th, the uh, yeah. final Ugh. chapter. Yeah. But he catches the knife. That, uh, in, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, nope. Yeah. Nope. Nope. Like, there's some parts here, like th- another, another moment like that, that I always think of is in the Evil Dead remake. When she's in between the walls and the knives are coming through the walls and the top of her knee, when it's uh, bent, when it's uh, bent gets cut. Yeah, so yeah, when yeah. she flexes her leg, it's going to uh, pull differently. Uh, and no. like, oh, that one always made me ic- icky no. too. I hated yeah. that one. Yeah, what there's was, always certain things. Yeah. What was yeah. great though, like it wasn't even just the kills in this. It was like when she walked in the back and she steps on the eyeball. The cr- uh, oh, no. the crunch, because, yeah, the wet the crunch. crunch. <laughs> it's always the crunch. Yeah, but it was like a wet crunch though. <laughs> oh God, no eyeball crunch. Oh. That's always so bad. gross. <laughs> but like she was oblivious to it, and that's what made it worse. Is that she yeah. never really noticed. She never even like yeah. really know. She still like she never knew what she did. It's still on her nope. shoe. Yeah, you know, like it's still no. stuck to her shoe. <laughs> She's in jail. It's Runny dang. eyeball. It's stuck on her. She's shoe. in jail right now, and it's on her shoe. <laughs> what are you talking about? She's in jail. She's the final girl. Oh, she's Colin. in jail, Colin. <laughs> I love this ending. <laughs> <laughs> it makes. Little to no sense. Well, okay, so we're trying to figure out, like, actually, uh, I mean, as we were sitting there, and again, you know, we're many years on from 1989. Sure, definitely. We have seen a lot of shit, so we actually called, like, uh, what was going on plot-wise yeah. pretty goddamn early. <laughs> we did, but then we were, like, we called it, but then when it happened, we were, we were just like, yes! <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't that how it always, that's what I love about, you know, when you call stuff in a movie, you're like, right. I think it's probably... Well, I gotta hedge my bet, and it could be this, but this, and then when it actually turns out to be the thing, it's like, yeah, yeah, you're going for the, uh, yeah, the bleeding the, of the nose into the liquid that's going underneath. Yeah, them. yeah, it's like yes, yeah. We were calling a lot. Does we that were. mean that it's working or not? When I you're like, I called. The, all right, for this movie, I think it was working. It could mean the opposite for other movies we've seen. It's like, oh, it's predictable. I think this a lot- movie. I think a lot of it was because what we were calling is what we wanted to happen. Right. That's why it works. Yeah. It's like, oh, I want this to happen because it makes sense to what's going on. Yeah. What you've established. 
and they did it. Well, you're putting yourself. I mean, I always put myself in the headspace of you know, if you're if you're writing this movie right. and you're trying to sidestep some cliches, you're trying to do something that you know. If I was if I was this guy, right? This is me. <laughs> like I would, uh, <laughs> yeah, you. All right. This is what I would do to yeah. try and come at the audience sideways so they wouldn't see it coming. Mm-hmm. Right, and then it turns out that like that's well, that's exactly what he was thinking. Right, well, right. I think that's more of a thing with like audiences now. Like if you go back to the audience in eighties, like I don't, I don't know. Maybe they weren't as discerning as you know. Obviously, audiences in this era are. Well, I, I think it takes it's a you know cumulative effect of all the movies that you've seen. Right. It takes everything time before. to see them all, unless you're Johnny on the spot seeing everything right sure, when it comes yeah. out. You know, it takes a while to actually circle back and have seen it all. Right. Um, so who is? I mean, spoiler. Uh, from uh, this point forward, sure, we're going to ruin yeah. the movie and tell you everything. Uh, who is the killer? Revealed to me. Bob slash Bill, <laughs> which I'm still going to the call mustachioed him. co-owner. Yes, okay, forty nine percent owner of what? Because he is, just loves this story. Walnut, but Lake. what? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say What's great his meats, motivation? Great meats, uh, <laughs> grocery store. Great meats, yeah. <laughs> we best have great meats. Best, best, best meats. Best meats. Best yeah. meats. Grocery store. Ranch market. <laughs> Ranch, Ranch market. market. Yeah. Yes, exactly. But what's his motivation for this uh, night of unholy slaughter? He loves the store, man. He loves the store. As he says, he's just crazy about he's this cra- store. That's yes. the tagline for this movie: is he's just is crazy it? about the store. Oh yeah. my god, yeah. that's wonderful. <laughs> That's he's amazing. That's it. I he mean, just crazy loves the store. The store. So basically, because oh. of the because his love of the store, and because the other guy says he's going to fold up the business and sell it, yeah, he, he loses his mind. Yeah, as serial, you know, these uh, sure. psycho killers are wont to do. Yeah, they yep. snap and they just kill everybody, even the employees. Can, right, that there can't be anybody. no witnesses, no, Colin. No witnesses. no witnesses. Is that why? Yes, that's what he said. That's what he says. That's he just says he's got to be because he had to kill Danny. Yes. That Ooh. was the actual object of his uh, rage. Yeah. Let's talk right. about the head puppet. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Tell us about the head there puppet. Was a, there was a scene where uh, where Jennifer is the, the final girl and is running around and she sees like the head of Danny uh, with his like eye stabbed, like peek and around. Just, like, a hand. And a hand, like, yeah. peek, like peek around and he's moaning. Yeah, like he's hurt and he's like, help me. She turns around and it's uh, Bill with his hand up. His head, mouth moving his mouth with his hand, yeah, Yeah, Uh like a puppet, a decapitated head puppet, yeah. And then he beats, he beats Uh, Craig with it, which he continues to do for the next thirteen minutes. Yeah, Yeah. Yeah. he beats beats a man with another man's man with a head, yeah. Like till he falls to the ground and then keeps beating him. Yeah, it goes on for a while. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, that, 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 that motivation was, awesome, yeah. was like, huh? Hey, I mean, I guess whatever. If that's you're what I'm saying. Crazy customer makes more sense. Yeah. Way more sense. Yeah, probably. He's insane. Just like you kids are rude to me and I shop here all the time. You, you guys ever hear that? I shop here all the time. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. I th- I'm with you. I yeah. think that would have been a better yeah. thing than yeah. the, the co owner or yeah. something. Like, I get his, you know, he wants the guy who's selling out his beloved store, right. his livelihood. You know, I get why he wants him, but I don't get why he wants to kill all the uh the, the staff. Well, and I, like I was talking about, off but that's why I liked uh, what Sean's coming up with during the movie. What part? Which was uh, what? The, yeah, which motive, part? the motive that he well because he'd been hit in the head with a hammer right. by he'd hit the head with a hammer and now he's crazy, yeah. which I'm all for. It's just like everything changed once you get hit with a head with a hammer. It would have made a lot more sense for him to just like light the whole place on fire. Yeah, just sure. have an insurance because the doors are locked and apparently Jennifer right. cannot escape. She but if can't you get hit in the head with a hammer. <laughs> You're crazy. Yeah, I guess. That's just it. That's I guess. it at this point. Yeah, which I'm all for. I'll take that. Yeah, yeah. I think that probably would have been uh, would have been a thing. Thank you, Bill. But they didn't go that way. It was unfortunate. Go, Bill. Although I think the movie was uh, well, it's cheating technically, but it's trying to uh, throw you off. The yeah, first person confusing. who is murdered. Oh, it was Danny. Danny, the owner, has his head thrust down upon the. Spike. The spike. The yeah. letter Paper spike. Sp- yeah, the, the paperwork spike. And you spike. can clearly oh, wait, see. Wait, was, was Danny first or was Linda first? Well, he wasn't first. No, he, he was. wasn't first. But when he is killed, he yeah. is killed by a killer who is wearing a leather jacket because yeah. we can see exactly. the sleeves. Exactly. Yeah. This is, a, this is a, I guess, a mistake on the filmmaker's part. Is it a mistake or are they trying to throw you off? But 
But in the logistics of the right. movie, that means he like, put on a leather coat to do the that. Killer but put it, on the other but guy's coat. It never coat. happens in the rest of the movie. Right? Yeah, exactly. He's wearing some sort of other jacket or anything. So it, I think or he's in like shadow the rest of the time, right. so you can't even see what so he's I think wearing. It's yeah. a mistake on the filmmaker. Yeah, but you part. see, you do see because that's what I was Legitimate watching. Legitimate leather jacket is you know whenever they're trying to obscure right. a killer's identity, you're always like, what can I see? I yes. can see his cuffs. Yes. and they're his blue mm-hmm. shirt, which, which I can imagine was not the. What they were trying to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It shouldn't be because that's who not that's not who would have killed him. Yeah. Right. At that point. Which is why I was like, maybe they're two killers. Maybe that guy had right. a different Which motivation for whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Jennifer is not saved by uh Craig, although she mm-hmm. does cry over the fact that she thinks he's dead. Because I suppose that, you know <gasps> yeah. after she, she meat stabs him. him. Yeah, she meat hooks him. Yeah. Uh, hey, thinking that he's cart, the killer. Which is the most <laughs> <laughs> oh god, the most um, problematic killer ever. Yeah, it's like I, I her her emotions. I don't understand in that moment. Yeah, like, those gives, are like is confusing. it just because like everything's heightened because you're in that situation I that you're so. just like overreacting to everything? I guess yes, like we'll say that. Yeah, that could be. Well, I mean, what you yeah. you you're responsible for killing a person? Well, she assumes that he's dead. So I mean, yeah. I suppose that freaks but you. But he out. did attack her. He mm-hmm. did, but yeah. I imagine you're feeling some feels if you kill someone you know. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Oh yeah, sure. And maybe yeah, then sure. it becomes like he wasn't yeah. as bad as I made him out to be. Kind yeah, of like, you start knows? to you yeah, start to question was. your actions at that point. Yeah, um, Craig's bad. But uh, they eventually well, he get he does actually no he doesn't actually get killed. They end up outside yeah. the building. Yeah. yeah, right, right, right. That okay? Did you get? I legitimately he jumped should. at the phone booth <laughs> scene because I did not see that coming. Like when Which she was part? in there and he jumps th- when he. Yeah. Breaks through it. I thought, yeah, I agree. I thought it was like this should be. He should be dead at this point. Well, this movie does that whole like he's been hit a couple times and he's down and gets up like what three or four times. A lot. Like, yeah. It happens a lot, and yeah. then, especially at the end, like the last 15, 20 minutes. That's every five minutes that's happening. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. He should be dead. This guy is a survivor. He's like Orville Ketchum at this point. This is you're talking about Bill the Killer. Yeah, yes. yeah. Who just keeps keeps Bill on tick- he Bob. takes a beating yeah. and keeps on ticking. <laughs> Um, yeah, he's fucking Rolex. Well, he ends up getting, I mean, like a, a number of things done to him, right? He gets he's hit like with a meat arm. cleaver he, he gets, like, like eight times. Stabbed in the chest. He gets like chopped with a butcher knife. Stabbed in the chest. Yeah. In the chest. Oh, yeah, with the, yeah. the fucking spring loaded. be fucking. Oh, the spring loaded knife. Oh. <laughs> this is a visual <laughs> gag. He gets stabbed in the chest as he's trying to attack Jennifer. He falls back onto his back. When he does, the knife. Shoots out of him. You have to imagine this. He falls down, to. hits yeah. the ground, and the knife pops out, and Shoot then lands out. on a box. Twenty, 20, 20 feet in the air, a box next to him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh Standing straight up in yeah. the air, yeah. impales a and, box. And like wiggles a little bit, like it was yeah. an arrow going through the air. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. But then after you're that, saying, "Oh my god, did you like this or did you not like it?" I can't tell. <laughs> I can't. Like, that's so. I, I honestly don't know. I was honestly right. I don't. I don't know. Honestly, surprised that this is where it was. It's ridiculous. It made me laugh. So I don't know if I liked it or not. I honestly don't. Because when it happened, I was like, whoa, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> so it was very surprising. Yeah, I don't but know how I feel about it. Did. I don't either. All right, then. Yeah, and then she's <laughs> in the phone booth calling the police. He smashes through the side of the phone booth to get her, which that was that got me. Yeah, I was yeah, surprised uh, that he wasn't just dead at that point. Yeah, and then, um, then, then Craig comes and hacks him a bunch of times with the meat cleaver. Yeah. Police finally show up, and the police are Bruce Campbell and Lawrence Bender. Uh-huh. And but they see a dude in a leather jacket with a meat cleaver, all bloody. And to be fair, he's bloody. standing in a way that makes him look guilty. His, right, his pose is very menacing. Pose, let's yeah. let's not forget that he's bearded. He has a mullet and wearing a leather jacket. I mean, he's right. just, he's a bad boy. That is yeah. automatic guilt. Uh-huh. Yeah. In yeah. the eighties, mm-hmm. he's wearing the the guilt suit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. So they fucking put him in cuffs and shut the hell up. You're under arrest. Yeah. Excessive uh, force. This feels very yeah. current. Yeah. Because uh, yeah. well, it's because uh, what's his face? Uh, Bill's down there going. They did it. They killed right. everybody. He's still alive. And he's yeah. all bleeding. He's been attacked. He's acting. Yep. Yeah, and his word is law. Apparently. Apparently. Wow. Don't question anything. Just yeah. 
Well, that's why I figured somebody would be at some point like, tell it to the judge. But I mean, obviously, the filmmakers have a very low opinion of law enforcement because <laughs> there are cops who show yeah. up earlier who are basically the mutt and Jeff of uh, they can't tell. Yeah. Like, oh, is that my card? Oh, this is my card. I'm going to hang your card yeah. upside down. And, yeah. yeah. And Jennifer even says at one point, like someone says, well, did you call the cops? And she said, yeah, but they never show up when you need them. She yeah. says, yeah. said something like that. Yeah. It does take the yeah. police like half an hour of screen time to show up right. after they've been called. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Movies, the police are never like don't trust the police if you've ever seen halloween i think it's five uh there is a oh the, those idiot cops the idiot cops yeah. will also have like a the certain theme music the theme music for them is like, <laughs> eat, <laughs> eat, eat, eat. it's like yeah. it's like uh it's benny like, hill wacky oh, yeah, 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 yeah 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 it's just yeah. like a terrible terrible in choice. the 80s yeah. that's pretty that much how you have to accept the perfect cops. movie it's like yeah. they have odd theme music that proves they're idiots and move on from that there you go We'll expand upon that when we get to the Halloween 5 podcast. <laughs> Where we rank all of, of our Halloween movies. Of Saturday Night Freak Show. Okay. Uh, all right, then. So uh, have we covered our bases uh, before we head to our final wrap-ups? Where the listeners so. will hear from all of us. Speaking of the Halloween movies, Scott Spiegel was the first choice to direct what we were talking about off mic. Might be our least favorite Halloween movie, Halloween 6. And he said no. Oh, <laughs> Wait, did he really? do uh, From Dusk Till Dawn? Two. Two. Okay. Did Two. we say that already? We might. Maybe I don't think. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if we Probably said that. Now, yeah. It's like suddenly yeah. his name From popped Dust in there. Yeah, he was the first is that choice. Hangman's to do daughter, him. or is that the third one? What? From Dust Till Dawn? Yeah, yeah I, don't, Texas I don't. Texas Blood Money. No. Texas Blood Money is one, and Hangman's daughter is yeah, the third one. I don't remember what <laughs> yeah, uh, order they come yeah, in. Yeah, it gets yeah awkward. But yeah. he passed on Halloween Six. <laughs> good, good, good job. Good call. Good for him. Okay, that's it. Well, I'll tell you what, listener. Thank you for sticking with us this far. You're going to find out what we thought <laughs> of, because uh, we've been playing Koi. We're going to tell you whether or not you should watch <laughs> yeah, we have. Uh, Intruder <laughs> from 1980. But first of all, what we're going to do, we're going to go around the room. No, sorry. We're not going around the room. No. We're going to summon <laughs> ah. our mailman, and we're going to read yeah, we some of your mail. So, Igor, why don't you bring us that mail? Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Why, well, thank you, Igor. <laughs> He's got the little Walkman on, just like Ted Ramey's oh, movie. Yeah, same Walkman. song on loop. Yeah, he did uh, listen to the same song tapes. throughout the yeah. movie, <laughs> mm-hmm. which was all he was doing in this movie. Mm-hmm. Well, we have a giant mailbag tonight, Is Igor. I'm wow. surprised that you could uh, carry that it whole well, sack. You, all right, Colin, we have big mailbags. I want one sheet. Well, I don't think you put this on one sheet. I want to be. I want a scroll, Colin. No, I want, yeah. to. I I want, want a scroll. scroll. No, what we should do roll. is have it on. Like, I need a tablet. I mean, I have a computer in front no, of me. No, I should no, have I it here. So, physical killing yeah, trees. Like a scroll. telling you, <laughs> aged. Uh, <laughs> like have a leather, aged. like a tanned hide. Yeah. Yeah. Lettering. Yeah. We have to uns- That's yeah. what we do. Like calligraphy on the yes. Yes. That is in what tonight's I want. Yes. Mail you soak that shit in tea and make it look old, Colin. And then we burn it after the episode. Yeah. Um, well, first of all, before we get into this, why don't we tell people how they can get a hold of us? Because we want you to write in and become part Please. of the Freak Show family on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. On Twitter. At Sat Freak Show. By email. Saturday Night Freak Show at Yahoo.com. And on Instagram at Saturday Night Freak Show. Tonight, time of your life. Michael Vincent writes in. Who are you? Hi. Welcome. He, hey. Well, he says, I love your hey. podcast. I just wanted to give you all kudos. I've been listening for years and thought I'd finally oh. reach out. Oh, well, thank you. Aww. I think similar similarly to you when I watch movies. I was born in 84. I watch about two films a day, and I spend a lot of time reading about them on Wikipedia and Google and IMDb after watching. I think about all aspects and love to find connections between different movies and set design, editing, writing, and acting. It's so disappointing to hear all these movie review podcasts and only focus on the plot. You're the only show with true Robert Osborne-type film fanatics who can talk about every film or actor or writer. I love it. Keep up the good work. (laughs) Thanks. Oh, that's really sweet. Well, he says, uh, and P.S., I noticed that Royal Dano plays the same Uh. character in both Killer Clowns from Outer Space and Spaced Invaders. In both, he plays a farmer that notices aliens oh, landing. Oh, the, the bum? At yeah. the beginning of, oh, that's uh, that's that actor's job, I guess. Yeah. Huh? He's typing. Yeah, that, I mean, is, that is his job. Yeah, that's his that's job awesome. That good, oh, thanks, good, man. Good catch, though. Hey, that's awesome. awesome. You found your people. Good yeah. job. Yes, <laughs> we are your people. You are our people. Yeah. Thank you. That's awesome. Uh, Basin Voorhees writes Basin, in. what up, dude? 
and says, thank you for the episodes you put out in the Saturday nights that you dedicate to bring us such great banter. You make every Saturday night worth looking forward to, whether I'm at work, driving through countrysides, or walking on the beach. I spam listen to all your show or to your show all the time as I can't find these kind of conversations anywhere else. Much love from California. Wish I knew all of you or had friends like you all. Mazel tov to 300 and counting. Well, guess what? Okay. We are your friends. We are your friends. So, yeah. and, I, your friends. and I love thinking that he's having like a romantic walk on the beach with us. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like thinking about that. Oh. I love that. Yes, Actually, please. just I really like hearing what people are doing while they're listening to right. us. Like, even if it is just folding your laundry or something. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah let still, us know that that's what it. you do. I still like it. Well, you're yeah. going to be happy to know that. Uh, <laughs> I fold my laundry while listening to this. Yeah. Show, so. yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, Travis Legler writes in and says, I listen to Hello? your podcast a lot. It always helps put my one-year-old son to sleep when I play it on car rides. <laughs> God bless him. <laughs> so, well, that's, a, that's a good thing. Uh, I, Kayla, think, I think is I, I'm just thinking about all the inappropriate things <laughs> yeah. I've said yeah. that this Plays child one. has heard. Yeah. Yeah. Kids got to learn at some point. I'm all like, right? oh, God, what has this kid heard me say? Is what I'm thinking. Yeah. Well, he says, I think this is because he hears me laugh a lot and feels safe and passes out. I always enjoy Aww. it. Thank you for helping my son sleep and dream of how to review his favorite Aww. movies in the future. I'm sure he'll have lots of f- future episodes on long car rides to enjoy. Oh, that's really Aww. sweet. That's so I'm nice. going to cry. It's a family tradition. Yeah. That's so right, If I'm talking to a baby right now, I just want to say <laughs> thank you for listening, baby. Like, how you doing, baby? How you doing, baby? <laughs> uh, well, Drew Scott says, I'll be working through the night and listening to your podcast. You are the fuel in my tank that makes my bakes just go the baker. smoothly. Yes. He's a baker by day what? and by night. What? Yeah. There, there are no, no four people that love bread more than the four. Oh, my God. Oh, right I love bread. Baked goods. You are our favorite person now. <laughs> Send us baked goods. <laughs> Yes. Uh, well, he says the camaraderie <laughs> between the four of you is over nine thousand to the A team that you are. Ain't nobody Aww. screaming B team. Cheers to you all, <laughs> past, present, and to the future freaks of this podcast and its listeners. Congratulations on the three hundredth episode. Oh, thanks. thanks. Oh, it's so sweet. Awesome. Everyone's so nice. That's very nice. That's so I love you awesome. all. As I said, with the three hundred, I love you all. Mm-hmm. I love you all so much. It ain't over Sean's, uh, a little <laughs> tear. He's yeah. shedding a tear. Uh, I'm thinking about that bread. I'm like, what are you baking? Tell, I know. Tell, I know. tell, like, tell us bread. about what you're baking. Yeah, like sourdough French. Yeah, what you got, man? I was kind of hoping that they were cooking. Describe in detail. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Donuts. Cupcakes, brownies. What are you baking? I had, I had soup in a bread bowl before I came here. Oh, oh man. That's, <laughs> that's, that's shit. I haven't <laughs> had that in a long oh, time. It's so good. I know. That sounds so good. What kind of soup? nothing else. Tomato soup. Oh. See, see, this is what it's like all the time with us. Bread? Oh, yeah. Tell me about the bread you ate. I am so hungry right now. Uh, oh, that's great. Well, about the movie that we watched tonight, mm. Intruder, Sean Roger writes in. What up, Sean? He says, I hated this movie. Oh. I'd have to watch it again to remember oh, why, which I'm not going to do. Oh, you wow. Should, okay. You should we'll, get to it. we'll get to it. We'll, we'll get, to get to it. it. We'll get to it. We'll get to it. Geeking Poetic says, it's an awesome movie. You guys are cranking out all the hits this month. Oh, wow. Oh, thanks, man. Oh, thanks. We're, try. hey, we're, we're trying. We're trying to make we're up trying. for the yeah. rough summer. <laughs> we had a rough yeah, summer. Yeah. <laughs> Except for Colin. Yeah. Colin had a banging Colin summer. Had a good summer. The rest right. of us. <laughs> Colin's summer was banging. It was yeah. banging. <laughs> we all got to catch up. <laughs> Well, Mark Harrison writes in, says, hey, guys, I'm new to the podcast. Oh, thank you. I was doing a whole Sam Raimi retrospective a month ago, watching all of his films from when he was in his mm. 20s. I was in an airport watching Evil Dead 2, and I was like, why does that redneck actor with the messed up teeth have such a big part? Why'd they cast him? Anyways, a few days later, I'm watching Dark Man, and he shows up as one of the henchmen of Larry Drake. Now I see he's haunting my Sam Raimi retrospective and showing up in every movie I watch. I figure I got to find out yep. what happened to him. His name is Dan Hicks, and he's also an intruder. Yep. Turns oh, out he's shit. Bill. Oh, my God. An intruder. That's awesome. Right, I have a lot of rewashing to do. Yeah, wow. Thank you for dropping that yeah. knowledge yeah. on us. That's awesome. I appreciate awesome. that because I would not have uh, noticed that. Well, Mark says, uh, I was like, I got to at least try and watch this movie. So I got the movie and watched it before I realized I was watching the 2016 film called Intruder. Oh. Uh, yeah. But I recently watched the 1989 one. It's good. Probably would have been better received had it been released during the height of the slasher craze. Like 10 years earlier. Really. Rather yeah. than yeah. at the yeah. end of the 1980s. Uh, and I looked up... Uh, Dan Hicks is also in Maniac Cop, Spider-Man 2, and oh. Bruce Campbell's movie, My Name is Bruce. Oh, uh, Mark oh, so says- he's a Raimi regular, huh? Sure. He yeah. is a Raimi regular. 
Uh, nice. Mark also says, anyways, I love movies and talking about them the same way you guys talk about them. Please don't stop the freak show. Oh, thanks. Man. Never. It's Welcome to the family. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, Andrew John says, get the unrated cut of Intruder and enjoy that glorious head slice. It's a I fun movie. I did. Way thank ahead you, of you, man. No, thank you for your advice <laughs> because was... I saw both of them on Amazon. I was like, which, which one do we watch? And then uh, when I was like reading about the remaster, I was like, okay, well, it's obvious. We got to watch the one with the all good the effects. One, right? yeah. 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 We got the good one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but did you guys notice that? I mean, I didn't want to say anything because I didn't want you guys to notice the cover artwork straight up shows who the killer is on the front. Oh, of does it? Oh, I, yeah. Wait, it I honestly didn't pay attention. It's, it's, no. it's Bill with like two like meat cleavers and oh. then all of them underneath like mm. right on the notice. front. It, yeah. Did not guys, don't look at any posters or artwork for this movie <laughs> if you want to watch it because it gives well, it right away. I saw it when we were and it didn't, I didn't make yeah. a connection. Like I guess. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, it, it, well, it, the, it is. Well, if they've listened to this point, they know it's Bill on Yeah. Yeah. Adam Kaler writes in and says that store was so huge. No wonder a murder murder or it could last so long in there. <laughs> I was expecting Sam Raimi to open up one of the freezers and see Jareth singing Magic Dance. <laughs> dance Labyrinth. Magic yeah. Dance. Oh, I mean, yeah. it did have an attic even. Like a, like a house. It looked like a house attic, but it was it in did. a store. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. This is what stores were like in the 80s. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, so very they're gross. Still, they're still standing, Anybody Sean. who shopped at uh, stores in the 80s and is still alive, probably to you. <laughs> that shit looked You're talking not, to Colin. It, it, oh, I shopped at stores. Oh, sure would have a problem with how you were. Oh, that grocery store is still standing about like three or four oh. blocks from here. Yeah, yeah um, that's true. There's a, cu- oh there's a couple God. in that's this true. area, actually. Oof. Ryan Handsome Jansen says, uh. Uh, Intruder's got some good kills. It's just not a memorable film, though. It's just good for a lazy Saturday night. Yeah, I mean, that's if how we else, watch yes. it. <laughs> uh, Grant Parrish writes in and he says, I have a deep an unnecessary hatred of Ted <laughs> Raimi that stems from his days as the most annoying character on Xena Warrior Princess. I don't think it's unnecessary. I remember, yeah. yeah, he was on that, wasn't he? Yeah, I think yeah, it's, I think it's a fair there. hatred. Probably. Uh, well, he Probably. says he became acutely blow, aware man. of Raimi's presence when he was in movies and seethed with contempt. He has bit parts in Hard Target, which is otherwise his favorite Jean Claude Van Damme flick. Mm, the original okay. Spider Man films and Wishmaster. Wishmaster is great. Because he gets his head crushed, or no, sorry, he gets crushed to death by a shipping crate in the first few minutes of the movie. Unfortunately, that movie undoes the glory in its finale. Oh, that's right, because he undo it and he comes back to life. Uh, sure. Spoiler. Do you, any of you freak showers have actors that you hate in a similar fashion? This is a great question. That's it's a, a good really question. good question. I wish I, wish I, had, All right, I, I got, wish I had uh, done this before uh, right now. I got two. I got Dennis Quaid and Juliet Lewis, and I've never seen Cold and Creek Manor because I believe they're both in it. I don't know. I, it's oh, an irrational yeah. thing. Uh, no, Col- that's the thing. It doesn't have to be rational. Yeah, it's, I just can't. Sometimes watch. it's just how uh, it is. I'll go. I'll piggyback on Collins because I remember I was when Cold Creek Manor came out. It was just it was built up to be a big thing. I'm just like I hate Cold Creek Manor. <laughs> well, also really Sharon do. Stone just, in it, I think. Did it? Doesn't it? I don't know. I hate like everything Quaid, associated with Cold Creek Manor. Where just I'm I because I went to the and theater and watched this. that movie and I'm just like no. everything in this I hate. <laughs> it was not good. I didn't like it. I this is know. just like you know how we we've talked about punchable faces, right? Yeah, this yeah. Is like the more extreme yeah, yeah. version of that to where yeah. you can't Who's, even watch them on screen. No, I yeah. don't yeah. like. Yeah, fuck. Yeah, no. So who do you, who do you got? Are we gonna come back to you? You got somebody for who, what? For, who, that you yeah. cannot stand. Uh, um, it, who's the main guy? in... Commander. Dennis Quaid. No, it's not. Damn, it's, isn't it? Uh, it's not a. I don't think I've seen it. So it's not know. a. It's not a Quaid. It's not a dwarf. It, who's in Cold Creek Manor? Hold on. Oh, oh we'll come go. back to you, Holly. Yeah, come back to me. Um, in in the comments, someone had mentioned Emma Roberts. Oh, I, I agree with. That. I, I agree with that one. I, I hate her. She sucks. It's, um, she's not great. She's not great. But my personal one, um, Michaela actually called it because <laughs> she was like, We've I, talked about I, it. She so. was like, I know Holly's answer, so I asked her. I was like, Who do you think it is? And she's spot on. It's fucking Kristen Ritter. I hate Kristen Ritter with a passion. Oh, I'm I know, sorry. That's what I do. <laughs> that was my reaction. Like, oh. Whoa. But like, don't trust the bean apartment 23. Nope, really I hate her. <laughs> I hate her. It, it, it stems from Gilmore Girls. I will admit yeah, that. Yeah. That's where it started. Right. She's uh, Jessica Jones. She yeah, is. Yeah. Uh, I hate her. She sorry. Did, she was in Breaking Bad and I like her. I am sorry. I hate uh, her. Steven Dorf. Oh, Steven oh. Dorf. Steven oh, Dorf. Oh, from yeah. Blade. He can fuck. Yeah. Deacon right Frost? Yeah. Oh, he can man. fuck right off. He's he good was, as a jackass little vampire. This is all based on Cold Greek Man. He was in a Britney Spears video. 
No, thank you to he Steven Dorff. It was also, I mean, Cole Kingman. I, I liked somewhere. Dennis Quaid as he's Sharon Stone. Somewhere was like, a good no. movie. Yeah, fuck. so you're going with everybody in that movie. Yeah, fuck right off. All right. What's I, McK- like, who's McKayla was, guy? I, they, they presented a movie to me, which I did not get in Cole Kingman, so fuck them. I, I agree with Emma Roberts, but I think that yeah. came from, like, watching a whole season of TV with her, and Probably. that just, like, kill, I can't anymore. Like, that was yeah. too much to take in, I and I her. didn't like it. And she's kind of not a great person she's in real life She's kind either. of a horrible person. Yeah, yeah. She, yeah. She oh, is. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, she's a giant bitch. Well, so, she, like she famously, got, she was Why arrested for assaulting your boyfriend. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, things I don't know. She's okay. kind of awful. Um, oh, all right. The yeah. other one that's more, way more irrational and is not based on like real world things like that. Sure. I, I can't watch Olivia Munn in anything. I no, really can't. I don't like I her can't either. Deal with Olivia oh, she's I don't great like her in either. the newsroom. I don't like Sorkin stuff though either. So oh! I, don't, I that's, a, <laughs> <laughs> that's a double whammy for me. I'm not going to watch we it. Don't have no friends anymore. That's like, cool. <laughs> wow, wow, throwing okay. down Olivia, the, the new that's freak show. That's a great question too. though. That's <laughs> a great question. Well, about our episode, which was our 300th episode, the people under the stairs, mm. uh, punk rock AJ writes in and says, "Wishing you congratulations on reaching the 300th episode." As for the people under the stairs, it's definitely a movie. I didn't expect anyone to make it rain <laughs> in. It is. A movie. Yeah, no, I didn't expect anyone to make it rain in was the yeah. follow-up of that. that. Yeah, no, that's a good yeah, point. I agree with that. that. Well, he says, have a great one, guys. Um, Thanks, man. Thank Thanks. You Thanks. very much. Brian Moore writes in and says, people under the stairs is what happens when you invert Home Alone and add cannibalism. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Yeah, that's true. yeah. yeah sure. Uh, about Slaughter High, our episode uh, about Slaughter High, Grant uh, Parrish writes in again, says he has a theory. Filming in the asylum was intentional because the American school system is fucking insane. <laughs> Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Mic drop. I was, I was, I told him, and uh, I'll say this on air, but like, uh, there is a school not too far from where we are now that was originally built to be a juvenile detention center, uh, and that fell through with the state, and they turned it into a public school, and it has no windows, (laughs) and it looks like a prison, and if you know that, that building makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I mean, it. He's not far off. Yeah. Very well, true. And yeah. finally, uh, Basin Voorhees writes in again and says the killer in Slaughter High looks like the guy from Star Wars New Hope who gets his ass whooped by Ben Kenobi at the Moss Eisley Cantina. But to be exact, I think it was his friend. But they're bit. friends, so they both did. Yeah. 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 A little bit. I can see that. That's Snaggletooth. Sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sure. There was Snaggletooth and Walrus Man. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I no, had the action figures. We know. Mm-hmm. Okay, fine. That's mm-hmm. it. I'm just saying, I got to clear that up. We got mm-hmm. it. Thanks, Calm. You're welcome. That Appreciate was it. that was a very full mailbag. That was awesome. I love it. Yeah, yeah. it's a good one. I love I it. Love full mailbag. I love questions that challenge us too. Like, yeah, like, oh, I gotta think about it. <laughs> <laughs> All That's right. Well, question. that brings us to the most exciting part of the show, where we're gonna go around the room, tell you what we thought of tonight's film, Intruder. Colin, Colin, what did you think about tonight's film, Intruder? I'll tell you, Sean. And thank Please you for do. asking. Uh, <laughs> I, I have been wrestling with this. Uh, I've been going back and forth since Just the tonight. film yeah. ended. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> While well, we've been the talking. Last hour? Yeah. Last hour and, been, and a half. Like, that. yeah. It's been a battle. <laughs> um, we're, we're all doing that. There are things to like about this movie and things to absolutely hate about this movie. And the question is, which one is ultimately going to win? Yeah. Uh, so here's the catalog. Uh, I enjoyed the uh, murder scenes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> which, As you should. Okay. But, you know, I mean, again, I'm saying it's, uh, I think, uh, because of the, the the special effects wizardry involved. Yeah. I like seeing that kind of stuff, like, pulled off. Like, how do you, you know, a- a- a convincingly show this kind of uh, dismemberment in a way that I believe that it happened, yeah. you know, and some of it is just over the top gory where it's punching above its weight class mm-hmm. into spectacular. Yeah. Uh, I'm thinking of, you know, specifically of the head slicing scene yeah. mm-hmm. and the, uh, the crusher thing. What is it? The Baylor. The Baylor. 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 Damn it, I'm never going to get Baylor, there. Baylor, I hardly know her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Thank you, Holly. You're welcome. It was so, there. It was the low-hanging fruit of this show. But, but someone finally grabbed but, it. But we appreciate it. Thank you. That's why I'm here. <laughs> but the, uh, so, I mean, I guess I would say the gore effects are pretty awesome. They are all contained to about 15 minutes of the movie, about an hour in. Uh, then, uh, you know, following that we get the chase around with the final girl and the hour prior to that is setting up all the, uh, the, the, the cast, which are pretty much uniformly terrible. The movie is extremely cheap, but at the same time, even though it's like, it's, it's, uh, poorly done in a lot of ways, 
I do like that Thank they you, were. <laughs> well, I like that. Here's the thing. I mean, when you get when you get to like this level of of filmmaking, yeah, it's like if we actually went out and made a movie, this is like it's not right. far from your reach. <laughs> kind of thing. Off, you know, when yeah. you watch it, you go like, I think I can make this movie. <laughs> like probably yeah. with like a couple hundred bucks, you know, you could probably go. Do, and you had access yeah. to a grocery store. You could probably make this movie. Uh, so then you're looking at like. Well, he is pulling off these, you know, he's spicing it up with these creative camera calisthenics and uh, <laughs> and uh, the gore kills, you know, by, you know, getting in uh, a professional makeup effects yeah. uh, group. Um, I just don't know if I can actually in good faith recommend it to you. It's like <laughs> there's there's fun to be had, but like getting there to me. Like I, I was losing, I was losing the joy because it was soul crushing to watch the first hour of this film. Oh, it was like, damn. oh god, this is awful. I mean, it's really bad. And uh, you know, I mean, even when he would do the creative stuff, it was like, you know, like I said, there's an entire dialogue scene of which I don't remember anything about or care about, and it didn't do anything for the characters. But god damn it, it was shot through the uh, the inside from the inside of a telephone. Yeah. <laughs> The whole thing without cutting like, because it's like ball. this is yeah. a shot that no one's done before, and I'm gonna you milk it for everything that's worth. And I'm like, so I feel do like it. if I made a movie, that's what I would do. Though that's the thing I worry about. Is like that's what I would yeah. Do but I, I think that's exactly what. Ha- so it's like you give points for the shot, but then you take points off for the fact that like you didn't know when to get out of it. You know, yeah. And yeah, there true. wasn't there wasn't the writing wasn't there for the, it's like so uh, yeah. I don't know. I'm 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 torn on it. Do you want us to come back to you? Yeah. <laughs> you, you really seem really worked right. up over this. Yeah. Some thoughts to work out. I know because it's like the some of the gore was pretty cool, but it's like, do you just is that maybe is that the only thing worth watching? Like the the movie itself is rough, yeah. but the 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 kills were cool. I think that you could probably find, I don't know. I don't know. I was, I was going to say, uh, well, you find the 15 so minutes on, so uh, on YouTube, right? And you just watch them. Oh, maybe. Maybe not. <sighs> I don't think I'm going to recommend it. Believe it or not, I think I'm going to pass because, I mean, I think it was, I think, you know, I mean, again, there's the experience of sitting here in a group and watching right. it. Mm-hmm. And there's the experience of just like, you know, hey, this is your homework go watch this movie because somebody told you that, you know, you like science movies, go check this one out. And I think you'd be sitting there for a while going like this movie sucks. And then, Oh, Oh, now they're actually killing people. And that's cool. There's the demo reel for the special ah, effects guys. But you know, every, like every one of these can't be like, you can't just get right into the killing of people and be inventive to it. You gotta have some build up for this shit. Yeah, but it's gotta be interesting in some way. And this, is wh- it not? Uh, no, I mean like it, it was just those <laughs> terrible actors and like running around. I mean, because that's what I'm saying. They were like they spent what felt like an eternity searching for a guy who was supposedly hidden in a grocery store. And I'm like, I don't know why he's hidden in a grocery store. Why is what's going on? Like, this is just padding fucking running time. So yeah, I guess I'm going to, I'm going to say he can pass on it, but it's a marginal pass, but uh, yeah, pass on intruder. Sean, what'd you think? Um, I don't know. After that, I, <laughs> I'm going to say I, I kind of love the fuck out of this movie. <laughs> 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 I, I, had, I had a great time watching this movie like it was <laughs> it was really fun I, I really like and we, we do there's a little bit of build up in the beginning of this movie but like once we get to it like the kills are great in this movie like there's some out of this world shit where and you know we're watching this movie and we're like guessing the stuff that they're gonna do and all that but I think that's part of the fun of this movie because I think the filmmakers know that the audience is expecting them to go to this point in the movie, and I think it like I think it works out for everybody. So like I really had like a lot of fun watching this movie. It was really fun. Like I recommend the hell out of this movie. It was fun. You remember mm-hmm. watching? This is maybe a dumb quote, and you know again, sure. I'm still trying to work this out. But uh, like Lucio Fulci zombie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Right. So this is another movie where, like, I mean, because I'm like, am I am I recommending? I remember recommending like the Beyond and Zombie. Sure. Where those are not really well 
produced but movies. It's, but Lucio they're Fulci, fun. But it's they're Fulci fun. movies. But they're fun. That fun. Eye, that like eyeball stab. I'll yeah. never forget the eyeball stab. They're so know? extreme. I don't know. Maybe they are better made than this. That's possible. I mean, or it's the I goofiness that it, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. Right. Way, everything that happened in this movie, like I had fun with, even if I was sitting there, it's been like, like, well, this is what should happen to this character, and it did happen. It was like awesome. Like that's what I wanted. Like because we, as as viewers watching this movie, like we wanted this to happen to the characters in this movie, and it did happen. And because it did, I'm just like, oh, awesome, great, <laughs> awesome, cool. But there's also, like, some really great kills in this movie. Like, the bandsaw, where they're just slicing a dude's head in half. Like, the gore in this movie, I think, is beyond... It's beyond what is the usual for these movies. Like, it's... It's, it's surprising. Some, it, it, it is surprising. <laughs> yeah. It's something I did not expect. Mm -hmm. It is... I think it is above and beyond, which I think is what makes this movie great. Like, I... I, I'm, I recommend the fuck out of this movie. I, I had so much fun watching this. Like, uh, I'll watch it again, because it was fun. <laughs> also, it may be because I was like, I worked in grocery stores for like four years of my life, and so I was very triggered from this movie, <laughs> but but I had fun, because it all made sense with, yeah. the, with everything, but yeah, I recommend, I recommend the fuck out of this movie. I had so much fun watching it tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, you should definitely watch this. Uh, what was it called? <laughs> <laughs> the Night Stalker is what we're going to call it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we do nice our remake, it'll be the Night Stalker. Just be sure to watch the 87 minute version. Is what yeah, yes, Not watch the, the, uh, the remastered. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. got the sweet, like, Scream Factory style artwork. On Whatever the we yeah. watch tonight. Watch that movie. Yeah, because <laughs> both of them are on Amazon. Like they came Prime, up right yeah. next yeah. to each right, other yeah. in the yeah. search. No, the one that like the cover is the mostly red with like the big black letters. Don't do that one. No. Skip that one. No, no. Just ignore Remastered. it. Remastered. Yep. Yeah. Watch whatever we watched tonight because it was fucking fun as hell. <laughs> Even the build up to uh, whatever they delivered was great. So yeah, I recommend I recommend the hell out of this movie. Mm -hmm. Definitely, Holly. Um. Yeah. I. I will. For, I will agree with Colin on the uh, <laughs> the hard journey at the beginning of this movie. <laughs> it's oh, a I long love, 87 oh, minutes. I love, a, I love a hard journey. <laughs> <laughs> it is a hard journey. The 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 acting sucks. The writing sucks. And I'll even go as far as saying like the experimental shots. Like some of them, I'll say are 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 interesting. Some of them, I'm like, oh, this they is stupid. This is stupid. With that, I'm going to agree with Sean that I loved the hell out of this movie. <laughs> Love once this movie. we get past that hard that had that hard start, once we get past that and we get to the kills, we get oh my god, it was so much fun. Love it. It was so much fun. The Everything about it. The practical effects were ridiculous. It was it was so surprising. I did not expect this movie to Kyle, go. I don't know if you know this. Where it saw went. His head in half. Yeah. I saw his head in half. It was, it was the, <laughs> the moment. But not lengthways, like, like, like no, with like a cross. Cross, yeah. cross his uh -huh. head. His <laughs> so gums, good. like, squish. Oh, yeah. God. Oh. It was gross. Right across his, like, yeah. te his teeth. Yeah. It yeah. was, it was shocking. It's in the sh most, it's in the most <laughs> wonderful way. We were, all right. No, I can't. Yeah. I don't think we can express. We were audibly. We all guessed. Our feelings about this yes. movie as it was having going. Oh no! <laughs> Throughout, I, like, like yes, in the last thirty minutes, like we were very audible about this. But movie. it was before he even got to like as soon as we saw him dragging him towards the saw, we were all yeah. like, oh, I'm uncomfortable. like, no, no, right. no. <laughs> oh, all right, that's yeah. what we do. There was a lot of lead up to that death, yeah. and that made it even worse because it was <laughs> gruesome. Uh -huh. It was oh, gruesome. It was I was sitting there going, I don't like this. I don't like this. It's but good. I did like it. <laughs> I liked I did. it. I didn't like it. Yeah. I will, yeah. No, get I mean it is it's a it's a hard 40 minutes or whatever it was to sit through in the beginning, yeah. but once you get past that, it's yeah. so worth it. We oh. watch a lot of movies that have a great end and we're like, eh, "I don't know if it's it's if it's worth it. I can't recommend it based on that. It's too long." This is worth it. This it's worth, worth it. this. It's worth sitting through. I think this is prime freak show material right here. This is prime I, I, 80s yes. slasher shit. Like the, absolutely. Like, if, this for me, work, it, it makes its way into like oh, there's uh, uh, movies of the 80s that you can recommend of slasher movies. I'm like this is gonna be one yeah, of them. I'm adding this, this to prime. my list right now. Holy like, that cow! You should watch this, is this prime. shit. Wow. 
Yeah, no, I'm going to add to my list. Like, this is one of the 80s movies you should definitely watch. It is yeah. high on that list. I was very disappointed that there wasn't a clean up an aisle five joke. <laughs> yeah. I feel like that should have been there. I, I kind of wonder if that's just because it was like an after hours setting. Because right. Because like it because they were working the night shift. <laughs> I know. Because right. yeah. you have no public to yeah. like recommend that to. They right. could have thrown it in there somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> I'd, I'd want it. And it's fine. It's yeah. fine. Sure. I, yeah, I recommend the hell out of this movie. It was yeah. fun. Definitely. Michaela. I really love this movie. Every time I'm watching it. I love this movie. Um, I, I, so I was, I discovered this movie by, I was really desperate for like some eighties cheese. And I fell down like a YouTube rabbit hole of trailers, <laughs> but the trailer I saw was not a real trailer. It was like a fan made one. And so yeah. like it showed way too much. Mm-hmm. And um, uh, trailer, so don't do like that. Movies that yeah. have been around for <laughs> yeah. long enough, it's just like you get fans who make the trailers for them, and you're just like, what is real? What is right. the one they actually made during that time? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then, but then when I like kind of did the research into like the people who made this movie and who was in it, I was like, what? Why have I never fucking heard of this right. movie? Why yeah. have we like, never shocking. heard of this yeah. movie? Yeah. And then I was just like, I kept reading on it. And I was like, wow, this is just like the more I dig into it, the more interesting it gets. I was like, so we're definitely gonna watch this at some point. <laughs> and uh, and then I was like, and then I was like, oh, this might be kind of triggering because like we've all worked retail. So. Yeah. But I was yes. like, oh, we'll get over it if the movie's good yes. enough, you know. Um. Uh, but I really enjoyed watching it. It was gross. Uh, I'll never forget that eyeball squish or the head cutting in half. Oh, God. Um, <laughs> but it just... Mm, and yeah. eyeball squish will definitely get <laughs> eyeball right squish. in this show. <laughs> yeah, it, I really enjoyed it. Um, it, but it. I agree with Colin in the sense that like it's rough. The writing's rough. The acting's sure. rough. It but is, at, it is lit it, by fluorescent track movies. lighting only. Like, yeah, it is fluorescent oh, lighting. Yeah. 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 Everyone yeah. looks terrible under that fluorescent track uh-huh. lighting, that's for sure. Yep. But and it's that, the worst pair of pants in the history of oh, film. It is. <laughs> yeah, it's not good. Some 3D Jennifer's pleats pants. on the pants. They're so oh. bad. But it, I had a great time watching it. Uh, I would love to show this to other people. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think I, yeah. I really enjoyed it. I would definitely recommend it. Yeah. There it is. Well, there you go. There it is. <laughs> there it is. Okay. There, there it is. is. Colin, you're wrong. Uh, <laughs> apparently so. The free you're show so is spoken, and you should go rent Intruder or Intruder. find it from Sam. Which is it just yeah. a, not a, full a good moon. title for this no, movie. The Night Stalker. No, The Night Stalker. It should be. There's the yes. so, many, so many other things that should be available for this movie. Intruder is not. There's no. got to be so many grocery store puns you can do, yeah. right? Like, Serial right? killer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, he does no. jump God. through the cereal box. <laughs> yeah, right, point yeah. grabber. So many other yeah. ways to get into this movie, yeah. but there you go. <sighs> All right, so uh, next week, you're wondering what we're going to do. So next week's going to be a super special episode. Super special. Colin, it's a very special episode that we're going to choose. Yeah, very special. Are we going very on a field special. trip? Field trip. A freak, freak show field, field trip. trip. Field trip. Colin, what are we seeing on our future field trip? We're going to go watch the new Halloween film. Yes, Obviously. Yeah. Yes. We Sean not... and I would flip this fucking table if we weren't right. going to Right. If we weren't going to see that, like, if we weren't going to, like, bring you viewers, well, uh, I mean, brailers, yeah. brailers, authors, yeah. listeners. We're going to compete with every other show. podcast out there to get to climb to the top of the heap but of Halloween reviews. So, we're, we're not competing. Halloween 2018. I don't give a shit about the other ones. We're doing it because <laughs> we want you know to. What, Colin? They're wrong. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. And the only place you need to go for a review of a Halloween movie is right here. That's I right. Have Michael Myers tattooed on my body. And, yes. Oh, and we reviewed We've Halloween already reviewed. Uh, yeah. Resurrection. Yeah. And Halloween season of the witch. Yeah, exactly. That's and right. Halloween six and Halloween six. Yeah, yeah. we're not competing. Oh, sorry, I forgot about that one. No, the producers cut. That's right. We did the producer. Yeah. yeah, we are dedicated people mm-hmm. who are going to yeah. bring you a dedicated review of a new Halloween movie. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Right. And How- be prepared for this to go <laughs> yeah. long. Come on, what are we watching I know. this week? It's going to be the Man of Steel. Yeah. of Halloween <laughs> reviews oh, next oh, week no, on no, the no, Saturday no, Night Free Show. Three hours of of the new Halloween movie. I'm down. All right, well, uh, until next time, listener, the basement is going dark. <laughs>